Okay, take some cabaret. Add a little comedy. Squeeze in some dance. A bit of theatre. And musicals. Whatever you want from your summer and whatever your budget. Fill your boots at the Edinburgh Fringe this August. Click the banner now to book your tickets. Oops, nearly forgot circus. Looking for something different to do these school holidays that's budget friendly? We've got the answers. Find out what all parents want to know by listening to Subway Explorers from Glasgow Subway. Showcasing four trails covering all the best family events, attractions and activities to visit. Hi. <laughs> I haven't had to do one of these in a long time because we've been do using YouTube. Um, hello, anyone who's decided to view and join us for ASLR Shadows of Defiance. 
Uh, I am Sarah, I am the Dungeon Master, or in this case, Weaver of Tales, and these are all of my friends! Hi! Hello! Um, I'm really excited to start this campaign, and also super nervous, but that's okay. Uh, does anyone have any announcements before we get started? Please? Uh, <laughs> Coconuts have water in them. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody delay the inevitable. <laughs> um, just as a forewarning to everyone watching, uh, this is a every other week stream, um, as it is an every other week game. So, uh, yeah, um, and it's a brand new campaign, so. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah. Uh, we have um, we have a fresh new uh, faces on my channel. And uh, some uh, faces that we haven't seen in a long while. So, um, just to introduce uh, uh, the stream to everyone. You, you know who I am. Our illustrious Weaver of Tales, Archie Obsession. Um, and these recordings are going to be on, the, on their YouTube channel. Um, we have Icarus of Might, uh, my very first D, uh, well, uh, one of my very first, uh, long-term DMs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have Percy, a long, long, long-time friend, uh, <laughs> way back in the days of Musical.ly. <laughs> <laughs> way back! Way back! <laughs> uh, long times ago. Uh, we have Helen, which I believe this is your first time on my, on my channel. I believe it is, yes. Hello. Um, a, a long, long time D and D friend. Uh, so many games together. So many games. <laughs> so much chaos. So much pain. Oh yes, <laughs> the chaos. Oh, it's great. It just bubbles between us. And we have two new faces. Um, uh, playing a game with them for the first time. We have uh, Kate. Hello, and we you. and oh. we have Ethan. Hello, who is fresh meat? And um, <laughs> forgive me for this quote, but I have to. Looks like one. meat's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I love um, it. Uh, uh, confirmed. Isengard had restaurants. What, why? Why do you think Urukai know what a menu is? Right. <laughs> 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 I love it. It's like. You have a point, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. Um, so, yeah, apart from that, um, this is going to be uh, very fun. Um, we, uh, da -da -ba 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 -ba. Uh, Did you forget for... to turn the audio on for us again? Uh, no. Um, have so, we been so talking we... to nothing? No, uh, we, we <laughs> have been. Um, only because I can't find the uh, playlist for starting out. As in starting out the session because I can't find it for some reason. Ah, so, okay. um, Unfortunate. Uh, While you're trying to figure that out, I'm just going to add uh, for anyone who decides to view this campaign just be aware that I do not shy away from real life themes. So there will be themes in this campaign that are gonna be trigger warnings for some people. We are going to touch into, um, you know, ecological destruction. We're gonna talk about terrorism. We're gonna talk about family dynamics and issues that you'll find there. So if you find that you, this is not the stream for you because it's too much, we totally understand. If you find that a scene has gotten to be too much, please pause, come back, watch it on the YouTube, take care of your mental health first. So Skip through it if you need to. There's no shame in that. Yep. Absolutely, because these topics will come up. While we appreciate that people watch and play d, &D for um for escapism, as we all do, <laughs> Um, sometimes the real world does creep in for reasons, and usually they're good reasons. Um, 
So, could you link me a uh, Spotify playlist that you want to play for the opening bit, please? Because I can't seem to fucking find it. Flip this under the table, please. That was a nice bit of ventriloquism. Um, <laughs> we've, I've only done playlists for the starting, break, and ending. We didn't talk about... We didn't the talk in about the, the we didn't talk about the actual sessions. <laughs> we skipped a step that night, but it was also yeah. one in the morning for me and yeah. six a.m. for you. So and sessions are a little dynamic. It's hard to set a playlist. Yeah. Um, um, what time is it for you right now, Mitch? Um, m midnight. Okay, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. Um, so the number of times that we've played a game with Mitch and then watched the sunrise through his window. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> fun. Too many. Mm -hmm. oh. it's, it's especially bad in the summer because we get sunrise at like four in the morning. Oh. We're not too far behind you. We get it about 5.15. Um, so while we have that, um... Ooh, shit, 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 shit. Uh, wh while we have that, we, um, I'll go to the be right back, and uh, while we discuss um, music players. So, don't go anywhere, please. Um, we'll be starting very shortly. I know this is impromptu, but we'll get we'll get this sorted. Hopefully, <laughs> we will. By by uh, by hook or by crook. Right, be right back.
I think I found my new favorite tavern music, though. It's called the Crazy Squirrel Tavern. That would do it. Of course it is. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, and we're back on live, so... Hi everyone, welcome back. We found music. My bad, y'all. It's all good. So... With that, I suppose it's my turn to start. <laughs> Are we all ready? Let's into your world. Always bring us in. So, the world of Dungeons and Dragons has always allowed the willing to be transported to worlds filled with possibilities. Today, we have decided to to explore a new world, an isolated island continent containing five distinct regions. The land was united under one ruler 1,500 years ago, although the distinctions in the cultures and separate communities still is quite evident to this day. This is the kingdom of Aesilar. But what makes this kingdom different from any other in our own reality or one you might find on your TV screens? Well, 1,200 years ago, after the formation of the kingdom, a new ore was discovered in the mountains of Vigilus. It was originally believed to be a new gemstone, however, it could be smelted and forged easier than any metal. After months of researching this ore, Aether Weave, as it came to be called, was discovered to enhance magic in an extremely malleable way. It dis its discovery made such a massive impact on both communities and technologies that it became integral to the culture. Implants, known as fentairs, were placed into the cheekbones as a part of a coming, in of age, coming of age ceremony. And different regions added more augments, referred to as duck's tears, to a help adapt to the conditions of their homes. Our story begins in the city of Elysia, in the region known as Vigilus. This city on a hill is a gleaming marble city holding the kingdom's largest Aether Weave mine. The roads wind back and forth, climbing through waves of white and green. The trees are perfectly cultivated to fit into the cityscape, offering an organic sense of perfection, a distinct balance between the natural and the urban. We find ourselves in the lowest district between bustling crowds and fascinating shops. Stepping out into thin air in the middle of the street appears an elven man, though not a single bystander seems to notice the strange arrival. He adjusts the pack on his shoulders and steps into a rare, a rather modest looking black forge, blacksmith forge. Mitch, if you would like to describe your character. Um, Sagan uh, is a Aladrin elf uh, wearing simple leathers with some plate adornments that really don't account for armor, more as an aesthetic thing. Um, he currently stands at six foot two, is uh, bulky for an elf. Very bulky indeed. Uh, darker hair, um, medium medium length at the back, tied into a short po ponytail with uh, the fringe down. Um, a, a very fair complexion uh, with some freckling on the cheeks. You see um, his fent hair is quite intricate and um, very elven in, desi in design as it uh, meets to the middle of the forehead as well as the cheekbones. Um, his sleeves are rolled up and you see um, that same sort of aether weave prismatic opalescent um, design on his arms. Uh, on his right arm is a uh, simple design of a hammer. And on his uh, left arm are uh, what looks like to be a set of tongs. Uh, with his with his uh, backpack on, you see um, 
a well made um, great axe as um, on his back as well uh, ador uh, adorning um, a, a menagerie of, uh, of brown leathers um, as his clothes and he just has a very it's, it's a weird neutral happy demeanor about him and he steps out into the thoroughfare of um, um, Elysia heading towards the blacksmith uh Is anyone there? Uh, hello? As you, as you step in, um, you see, and you've been to this shop before. This is one of the people that you've dealt with before. You see um, standing behind some of the equipment, face shield on, cutting a piece of sheet metal into what looks to be a very intricate hanging sign. And as you approach, you see the the individual lift the face screen up and the very ruddy face of a human man appears before you. Someone that you know very well. Uh, Marcus Glendo Dower goes, Oh, you're back. I had to take a wee trip back uh, home to see how to, it was doing. Um, um, I still need to collect payment from you for my last job. Is that uh, money ready? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, give me a minute. Very Takes well. off the uh, the gloves, revealing similar markings on the arm to you, um, as he is also a resident resident of Vigilus and a member of Forgekin. Uh, before tucking into a back room, um, and after a few moments, a small little pouch is brought and tossed over to you. Catches it. They didn't skimp you? Not this time. Not that they didn't try. Mmm. They always try to get the best deal out of everything, don't they? Always. <sighs> well, um, this is good because I need to pay my guild dues. <sighs> that time is now here. Ah. Have fun. Okay, take some cabaret. Oh, please. Spotify ad. Fucking damn it. Surprise. Just, I just muted Spotify briefly. Um, <laughs> uh, Are you looking for a new Sony TV? No! no fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, he... Um... um Looks at Marcus. Well, if you ever need um, another job with uh, similar parameters, feel free to give me a wee call. Of course. Uh, it's just a pleasure working with you again, as always. Uh, it's good to be home as well. Good luck going up to the guild. I hear that. Uh, I hear that Seamus is running the counter today. Oh, for the... Have fun. Stingy bastard is gonna cut me dry. Good luck. Good luck to you as well. Mm. And he'll, uh, Sagan will head to the uh, guild hall. Alright. Flipping the shield back down. Uh, we pan from the shop that you're stepping out of just across the street from the shop where we see Sagan, we find an iron wrought bench painted a beautiful black on which sits a single tiefling relaxing with an ice cream, lightly watching an alley apartment across the way. Helen, would you like to describe your character? Uh, Jules is a six foot tall, extensively modified tiefling um, with long crystal like metallic horns that swerve back and up. Um, 
they flow over uh, dark purple and blue hair with streak, streaking highlights of bright neon green. Um, it's generally held in a, a ponytail um, and it flows over really dark faded green gray skin um, that's covered in tattoos and scars and um, uh, metallic crystal implants just all over the place. Um, sorry, uh, I have bright blue eyes that the irises extend out all the way to cover uh, the full sclera. So all you see is bright blue with a little pin top. Um, and those eyes are framed by a multitude of tattoos and fin hair and piercings um, that run down uh, my face, my neck, and, and my body. Um, and they have a, a very well-made tailored top made of black and green silks with no sleeves or upper back. It just, it has a collar that drapes down and goes into a, a tapered triangle that meets uh, at the belly button and then goes under the breasts and covers the lower back. Um, and then that tucks into uh, a sash and strong leather shorts or strong reinforced shorts that tuck into um, really thick uh, leather shin guards. And those end in bare feet, but they're, they're not flesh. They're, both my hands and my feet are that same metallic crystalline material that my horns and my mechanical tail is also made out of. Um, and they are just sitting there enjoying their their treat, uh, very nonchalant. However, they are keeping a very watchful eye uh, for those who know what to look for. Well, with your very watchful eye, you get to make the first roll of the night, make a perception check. All right, let's see what is my perception here. Toast, uh, toast to the first. <laughs> Stargate die, do not fail me. It, it fucking didn't. It fucking didn't. I swear it's a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> first of the night! Oh my god. Staring out into the crowd, you keep a watchful eye out for the any movement around that apartment that you left not 20 minutes ago. Uh, and up and down the rows for anyone else of a vengeful nature coming in your way. You do not see anyone coming down the road, anyone on the trolley that is quickly approaching. Uh, and you do notice the door to that upstairs apartment begin to open as a very familiar individual and small child carrying a single bag draped over their shoulder, head out the door, down the stairs, start looking around notice you on the bench just give a i just kind of tip my tip my ice cream up give a wink and duck behind the building and out of sight wait a few minutes and then uh get up and, and stroll back to before, the trolley before that happens okay as the trolley begins to approach The crowd begins to part as the red and brass trolley comes down these winding roads, dinging its bell and pulls into the stop. A small crowd climbs off, including three people of note. The first will be noticed is a short, sheared herringon who looks through the crowd with nervous energy before awkwardly setting in on an adjacent bench to our tiefling friend. Percy, would you like to describe your character? Elliot is a very small, very anxious, 25-year-old herringon artificer. Uh, he's currently wearing a green tunic and a brown leather 
apron of sorts. You could see maybe some tools peeking out of it. Maybe some have fallen deep into the pockets. Um, he's very patchy, patches of black and almost orange, spotting his white fur. He's extremely, extremely anxious, constantly fidgeting, constantly looking around himself. His front hair is almost... What's the word? Almost imperceptible because of the way his fur has started to grow over it, both of them. Um, he's just a stressed little guy, and especially considering the situation leading up to this, he's not having a good time. <laughs> Um, he does have, like, a good backpack on his back and goggles on his head. His ears are extremely expressive, constantly either flicking around to sounds around him, or pressing against his head when something is too loud. <laughs> He's just a little guy. <laughs> Jules, with your perception, you definitely noticed them settle into the seat near you. And you also would notice the driver also getting off of the trolley putting a sign in the window that says, out for lunch, be back soon. So we'll be enjoying this for a little while longer. <laughs> Elliot, uh, how, oh, so, go, ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead, I don't want to interrupt. Nope. nope, go ahead. I was just trying to fill the silence. <laughs> Elliot, as you are sitting on the bench nervously anticipating it's not long before you see a very strange looking elf, as you were told to expect. Um, a really dark, almost blue skin speckled with, with uh, golden freckles that you would know to be an astral elf. Comes over, sits on the bench next to you. Uh, pack on their side that they casually leave down. Oh, wasn't expecting the driver of the trolley to just walk away like that. Neither was I. He's trying to hold normal conversation because he knows how to do that. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I love it. As you're trying to blend in and act completely inconspicuous at this moment, I would like a deception check from you. Gosh, shut it! <laughs> As usual, uh, Jules would be eavesdropping on everyone around him. Make a perception so... check again. Well, you will carry over your perception check. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> Please let me check my things. Oh boy! Oh golly gee! Ten! <laughs> you think you are doing great. Even as you hear us like... From the elf next to you. Uh, Jules, you also noticed that get, having gotten off the trolley, a um, very well-dressed um, middle-aged human woman um, got off of the trolley. The markings indicate um, Azurathe as their home of origin uh, with a guard. And they step over to a cafe across the street and she goes in. And he lingers outside. Not really unusual. Um, you can make a history check to see if you know who this is. I was about to say, do I recognize any uh, crests or emblems? Uh, that is oddly cocked. <laughs> Uh, you said perception? Uh, uh, history, to see if you know history. who it is. And while that is happening, 18. Uh, 18, I'll get right back to you. Um, Elliot, as you're trying to remain as inconspicuous as possible in this moment, the elf just looks at you and goes, Well, I guess I will be going to get some lunch until he comes back. Uh, watch my bag for me, will you? And just... Um heads off <sighs> this game i swear his hand out and puts the bag as close to him as possible just slowly scoots i'm watching all of this out of the side of my eye and i am loving it i'm, wa I'm watching a newbie criminal just complete their first task in my uh -huh. mind yeah you're watching and it, i'm loving it 
You're watching a drop that wouldn't be as obvious if it weren't for this Heron Gun's total awkwardness. Yep. Th this being, I swear. <laughs> Protect at all costs. <laughs> Um, you oh, yes. would know, uh, having looked at the imagery on the arm, you would know that this is someone from the family, uh, the Cromwell family. Okay. Um, but this is, uh, you said 18 is what you got? Correct. Um, this would be... Where did I write her full name? This would be a Sylvia Cromwell. Uh, who is a liaison with the Aetherkin Guild. So not directly related to the the Cromwells. It, the main Cromwell everyone knows is the one who is a, a member of the Council of Delegates. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not her. <laughs> this okay. is not her. This is like an in-law. <laughs> All right. It, as long as it's it's not one that I'm familiar with, it is not something you're matters. familiar with personally, but you know through reputation. <clears throat> yeah. um, she's very good at getting her contracts filled. Um, when it comes to uh, one of the, her main tasks is organizing the uh, dis the proper distribution of aether wheat from the mines to the aetherkin and helps facilitate um, deals with different people of the Forgekin Guild, which is a blacksmithing guild, to make sure that uh, they get this proper supplies so they can put the Aether Weave inlays into items. Which is the main so she's issue. probably someone I'm stolen from. Cool. Yes. Alright. Mental note. Oh, I'm sick of space there. Um, yes. So, I will now jump to you. Back to the trolley. In the newly arriving crowd stands an elven woman, light on her feet as she navigated through the crowd, peer, peering at the nearby faces before gaining a look of recognition and following that face into a dark corner. Kate, would you please introduce your character? Gladly. Athena is a um, high elf. She is uh, from human point of view, comparatively to a human, looks to be about 19. Um, she is 5'10", 5'11", um, has very pale skin, every inch of which is covered in freckles, um, very dark green eyes, and very copper looking hair too bright to be brown but too dark to be red um that is very wild and she tries her best to keep it in a, a braid just to keep it out of her face most of the time um her implants are very simple and very sleek yet elegant at the same time um they do not completely connect at the forehead but they come most of the way together um and she is in uh, multiple layers of light cloth, uh, most of the midnight blue variety and color. Um, simple, slightly flowy, um, something that can help her blend in and go unnoticed, but something she can also move in very quickly. Um, she also has um, hand coverings that go very far up her arm to about halfway uh, halfway through her bicep on both sides and she makes sure to keep them on at all costs uh, just to help uh, blend in and, and move around. Um, she is very aware of her surroundings without making it seem so. Um, always has a little bit of a smirk on her face whether she intends to or not. Very bemused woman um always looking for a little bit of mischief in her day all right you head towards that halfling that you met earlier in the day as she's sitting propped up uh against a a stack of boxes close to one of the alleys and sees you approach and just kind of smirks and ducks further into the 
to the alley there. I roll my eyes, shake my head slightly, and continue to follow her into the alleyway. I see you are bagless at the moment. Hi. Yeah, You're yeah. welcome, by the way. Ah, I, hey, I appreciate it. It is a wonderful favor that you have offered me this day. And I believe you got paid. I did. I believe I owe you half, if I remember correctly. Normally, yes. But technically, I already took my half. That's your cut. Half up front, half after. It's been nice doing business with you. Always the highlight of my day. You are. Damn straight. See you later, Athena. <laughs> See you later, love. Stay out of trouble. Hell no. Heading back down the alley. I shake my head with a grin and slowly make my way back out into the main thing, hoping to hop back on the trolley and continue in my normal daily routine of causing mischief. Mm -hmm. Our last face that steps off the trolley with determination and careful glance over the shoulder. This tiefling man adjusts a loot slung over his back, flexes his mechanical hand, and stares around the crowd in search of something. Icarus, who are we looking at here? Uh, so this is Axonite, uh, or Ax for short, um, which brings no end of, of amusement to anybody who meets him because he is a very, very much a twinkle of a man. Um, <laughs> He's six foot two, maybe a buck eighty-five if you count his tail and horns in that, that total. Um, you know, uh, he's got a, mostly, I guess, like routine coloring when it comes to a tiefling, like sort of reddish brown skin, really dark black hair. Um, the only and his horns start off with black. The only big difference is that he's got these uh, spots of really brilliant, like bright purple. Um, which are a little bit unusual, um, mostly at the tips of his, um, at the tips of his horns, on his tail, and his eyes. Um, that will kind of fade in and out because he does have sort of like, especially in like passive company, sometimes if he gets a little bit spooked or startled, he'll, he'll throw a quick little illusion over that so they're not as visible, but it's still there. It's still there. Um, but yeah, he, he's, um, he's about, uh, sorry, I think I said about six, six one or six two. Uh, he has mostly earth tones with like little bits of kind of pale-ish purple fabric because it turns out if they don't dye it just right, you can get it for a deal. Um, especially if you sing a little song at the same time. <laughs> um, and he's got a really nice, well, to him, he's got a, a nice kind of like burnished nickel almost kind of coloration for his, um, for his, uh, for his prosthetic hand. Um, which, uh, seems to, uh, you can't see it go all the way up, but it does definitely go under the, uh, the sleeve of the shirt that he's wearing, um, and whirs very faintly as it, like, flexes and stuff as he's kind of, like, moving through people and stuff like that. Uh, loots over his back, he's got a couple of, like, he's got a flute on his, uh, on his other waist, um, and a small bow, and, uh, he's, uh, and goatee, because, of course, he has to have a goatee. Um, I still haven't decided what, what actual, like, human actor he looks like yet. I will eventually figure that out one day. Um, but that's sort of it. He's, he's got a very permanent practiced expression of just, of, of <laughs> gentle amusement and, like, openness. So he doesn't necessarily look intimidating or look, like, upset or anything like that. Because, let's face it, he's not. <laughs> he's, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's that's sort of the basis for for him. And his sorry, his tail goes from the red to black with that little spurt at the very tip of uh, of that bright purple. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, <laughs> as you are looking through the crowd, trying to see if you can find some strong hands to assist you, maybe in your current endeavor. Um, <laughs> Make a perception check as you're looking around. Oh, can do. Uh, um, uh, 
Sorry, that landed like midway between a 14 and a 6. So I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Roll again. You're good. It hit the edge of, of the tray. So oh yeah, you're totally good. 14. 14 is what it was apparently supposed to okay. be. Okay. 14 on the die plus what is my perception? It is so many. Uh, 14 plus 8 is 22. Oh. This is revenge <laughs> for Daren. That's what this is. <laughs> I will perceive everything. <laughs> Our tieflings are very perceptive. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You gotta be quick. Keep laughing. Everything. <laughs> this, the, yep, this is revenge. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> observant feet. <laughs> observant feet. <laughs> Almost. Not yet, maybe. Uh, yeah, you step off, and there are a decent number of faces coming in and out of the um, plaza area here. You also put the see the sign being put into the window. You see. Um, the very well-dressed woman has now stepped off of the trolley, followed by her bodyguard. You see, sitting on a bench right outside of the trolley, a very well, very relaxed, uh, casual-looking tiefling who just looks, like, built. <laughs> like, lively built. <laughs> sitting also <laughs> nearby a nervous-looking herringon. Who's <laughs> just like clutching a bag at their side? <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> that one might need more help than me. Um... <laughs> a baby. Anyway, just automatic assessment. A child. Um... <laughs> 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 that is a child. That is that is a child. Yep. You want a beer? He's four. <laughs> Small bean. No, sorry. The child. Um, however, the very like very well like literally well built <laughs> tiefling uh -huh. over here. That that may do it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, probably. Be. Honestly, that's probably where he'll he'll make his way over toward. Um, he's he's a little intrigued. I don't actually hold on. Have you? He has. Okay, he has seen a bunny folk before. I don't think he's seen a bunny folk by themselves. I don't know how often they tend to travel in like like solo as opposed to like with a group. Um, because at least like from what. Uh, Percy was looking up, which is what I sort of just generally rolled, like, how much have I interacted? And I got over a 10. So I say he's at least seen some bunnies before. Um, so he's probably just sort of like, why are you by yourself? That's weird. Okay. But yeah, probably gonna go and approach the uh, very built tiefling. Uh -huh. <laughs> just settle down on the bench next to Jewels and it probably I just sort of like the hi the seat taken oh never honey please I just put my arm <laughs> on the back of the the uh, bench and, and gesture towards the seat I actually had and he's just gonna go ahead and, and sit you know kind of sweep his tail out of the way uh, I do appreciate it. not actually the proposition I was going for uh, how oh, would you well, like let's do that. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. How would you potentially like to get in on um, some potential mischief making, let's say, uh, with. Oh, some... honey, say less. <laughs> You've got me intrigued. <laughs> I have a, uh, a specific someone that I'm going after on level eight. Uh, um, also, Sarah, I'm very sorry. I might need you to give me a few more of the details. I don't think I wrote them down, and, like, I've got a vague idea, but the specifics are escaping me. He would know them because it's been, like, an hour. That's I don't because it's been, like, a week. <laughs> uh, you know that you're looking for an individual who has been utilizing... You've been, you're looking for the... A front owned by the Copper Fangs. Um, yes, thank you. Yes. I need to start keeping notes. Again. Yes. Um, and a um, warehouse that is somewhere in the 
uh, in this area. Mm -hmm. uh, you do know that the person that you are looking for is right. in a bad right. mood based on the conversation you had. <laughs> yeah, with the working girl. And <laughs> hella strong. <laughs> yes. So I um I have a few reasons that I'm going after the uh, copper fang facility on level. Oh, eight. kidnapping fucks. The they still children. Too? Oh yes, I recently had a a lovely little run in with them. Do they? I just knew that they were pushing drugs. I didn't know about that. Uh, it was more for blackmail purposes, but mm. when you sink that low, no. I just don't when you stand sink for that it. low, somebody just needs to put you in a grave. Is my thought. Okay. Hey. Uh, well, Elliot, as you're sitting there, please roll a perception check to see if you're listening. It can hear this conversation at all. And Athena, you can too, as because you are nearby. Cool. <laughs> well, Eighteen plus five. So yeah, 23. Yeah, you hear it. Yeah. You definitely hear it. What the bunny is, man? Uh, 14, 14 plus uh, 6, which is a dirty 20. Dirty My 20. math is correct. All right, we will jump back to this conversation in a, just a moment. Because as the driver is stepping out of the vehicle, leaving an on-brake sign in the window, a dejected-looking half-elf watches them leave, sighing in disappointment and settling in on one of these benches. <laughs> could you please describe your character? <laughs> oh. Welcome to the show. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see. I don't even know where to start. I wasn't expecting this. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever is. <laughs> <laughs> we introduce the baby to the D&D group. Yep. <laughs> um... Let's see. He, let's see. Emerson is six foot one. Um, uh, like some dark brown hair, like like long on the top, but sh shaped like undercut, long undercut. Um, it's very long or just like loose, flowy. Uh, very neutral color clothes. Um having been out in the desert for so long. Um, and I, I honestly don't really know what to say after that because I didn't think about it. <laughs> oh, that's plenty. But, that's plenty. Uh, you are approaching the benches as this conversation is starting to form. And Sagan, as you are currently trying to step out of the shop and head towards level five for the guild hall, you watch as the driver puts the sign on the trolley and walks away just as you need it and see this uh, crowd building around the benches oh for the love of all of things both of you make perception <laughs> checks to see if you hear this conversation that is happening between Jules and Axe on these benches Loki what dice do I need for that uh, you need one eight twenty. Okay. <laughs> on your character. I'm sorry, I've never done this before. No, this, no this, this please ask. Yes. Yes! This is not your passive oh perception. My God. This is just no, it's not, not what you think. I... Natural one, baby! <laughs> <laughs> first natural one and our first natural one. I'm going to have fun with that. Um, so, Emerson, what you're going to need is uh, you're going to roll your d20, and then on your character sheet, there's a line that says skills. Down under there, you will see perception. You're going to add that number that's at the end of that to your d20 roll. Like a little plus or minus something. Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay, plus three. So I got 18 and three, 21. 21. <laughs> so when I say baby, I mean baby. Protect yeah. yeah. <sighs> Unfortunately. As you're stepping out of the alley, you're starting to hear a conversation regarding drugs and kidnapped children. Elliot, your ears prick up hearing this happening on the bench next to you. In the meantime, Sagan, who's sitting there commiserating over who he's going to have to deal with in a little bit, just flops down on the bench in between where Jules and Axe are having a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this much room right between us. us. Yeah, like you, you guys in like, between you, had you enough two. room to like chat, and now there's someone in between you. <laughs> Sagan said, 
facial so awareness. <laughs> Never heard of her. It's like, oh so my god, we can't talk. Um, see yourself in sound. Hello? Click or tap the banner to create your avatar. Uh, Hi there. We're having a conversation here, man. Oh, I, I, I do apologize. Okay. I did Take not. Cavalry. Uh, hold Spotify ad. Every time. <laughs> Spotify ad said no right. <laughs> this time is just. We've been meaning to call you about your. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, no, you, 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 no. Do you know what the ads are? Thank it's an you. ad on the Fentez. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh my god. Skip it. Oh, for, oh, for fuck's sake. Right, skip like skip the ad. For new donations, help us maintain our, <clears throat> our, our country's beautiful <clears throat> history. I swear, if Wings of an Angel starts playing on my Fentairs, I will rip those fuckers out. Of <laughs> <laughs> an Angel. Oh, God, make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I keep not... swiping away. <laughs> 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 I, I'm sorry, I did not mean to interrupt. I, it's been one of those mornings. Uh, are there any more benches that I can sit, or is everything else crowded? There's two benches side by side here. Um, there's a tiny crowd of other individuals beside you guys around. Um, but so far, Elliot's now sitting by himself, and then Axe, you, Jules. <laughs> so there was space. Quick question. Does the Sagan have visible weapons? Oh yeah. Uh, axe straight on the back. <laughs> Would have had to take that off and like smack it down on the ground to sit and, on the bench. And when you hear it clack on the stone, <laughs> it sounds hefty. <laughs> Very well made, just kung. Y you know how um you know how Odin's spear like sounds when it hits the ground? Near enough of that. Nice. Oh, now he's intrigued. Hi. Because also, you, you don't look like you should be able to swing that, but clearly you can. Question. Um, then you're free to, like, find another space if you'd like. I, I understand being a little proud is not great. Uh, you clearly know how to use that. Do you have anything against drug dealers and child kidnappers that maybe you'd like to take out on those? You see an instant, uh -oh. you see an instant demeanor change <laughs> on a dime. Just child kidnappers, you say? Yeah, no. It turns out uh, some people that I've got a beef with that I was going after for other reasons. Uh, my good compatriot here, uh, please insert your name. <laughs> this I is literally you. saying, like, please insert your name. <laughs> uh, actually, that would be perfect. Uh, I am actually. I am the Aetherlite, the Jewel of Clovelar, son of Jamala. I hail from Willow's Glade, part of the Bayou. Hi, Axe Knight, Binding Wastes. Nice to meet you. We apparently have an enemy in common who both deals drugs, which I knew about, and apparently steals children. Uh, would you like to lend your axe to uh, the effort of breaking into their place and teaching them what for? <laughs> and by lending an axe, you mean lending an axe into said body parts, I would not, uh... Anyway, you, you, you know, know it's, 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 skulls, it's, you know, it's mm -hmm. been an emotional few days. I think I could l use a, a little uh, time to vent some steam. Definitely, I think you definitely need some, some good physical therapy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um... Speaking of emotions, hold that thought. And I get up and I go and sit next to Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Not that I'm not enjoying all of this. I'm going to disappear for like nine seconds, but I can still hear you. Just no, you're bother. totally good. Um, also, Jules, check your messages. Oh, okay. You see Elliot, like his, the hold on the bag just tightens into a grin. <laughs> She's like, this is too <laughs> Jules, uh... Jules isn't get, even going to look at you. They're just going to look straight ahead and they're just going to say in a, a, a low, deep timber voice that um, you know, it's all about confidence and not what you say. 
this drop would have gone unseen if you had more confidence. You should practice. <laughs> and just tap their thigh and get up and go back to the other bench. Or, oh you know. my god, you are terrorizing this child. He's <laughs> like, uh, uh, do I talk back? Emerson, you've also definitely heard this whole conversation, so if you want to settle in on one of the benches next to Elliot or whatever, you totally can. I was gonna say, probably should put the microphone back down. Um, <laughs> that would help. I was gonna say, I feel like you'd be right at home settling in right next to the uh, the other very awkward one, because <laughs> my, my, <laughs> mine's just a very wary person, so not like, probably not quite so awkward, but introverted enough to be fine with somebody else who doesn't want to talk to people. Man up to my own heart. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very much how I am. Um, I'm going to stand in, in front of Axe and uh, say, so the Copperheads, I take it that's the um, the warehouse down the street to the left, and I, I say where I was earlier today. That actually would have been <clears throat> on the trolley and up on a further level. Oh. This is a whole different distributionary warehouse. I'm back down here on the level eight. I think okay. you were on level four when that happened. Um, okay. Also, check your messages again. Right, yeah, right. I, I, 20, you get all my little deets. <laughs> Good, thank you, because I completely forgot about that. <laughs> I've got the good word of an informant on where to find their base, and apparently there's a lot of potential... He's in a bad mood, and he's also apparently a strong son of a bitch, which is why I was hoping to gather a few additional people that know their way either around tech, around various devices, or around weapons, as you'd say. Um, so... Looking for something different to do these school I, holidays. I, I may be friendly. determined and on a and have a goal in mind, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> um, you see, his second developers, um, like his like uh, leather jacket it looks pretty heavy duty, but it's modified to where he can like easily roll up the sleeves, and then you start to see the muscle. This boy's built. Um. <laughs> goes, Elf, he doesn't have any. Oh, okay, never mind. Um. <laughs> and. It, he starts to put a bracer on. On his uh, right arm. With two medallions. That you might recognize. I'm not sure of how well you know. I can roll to see. You can roll to see. It would be a history roll. Thank you. I was like, I'm not sure what I'm rolling. Uh, let's see, eleven plus three is only a fourteen, so maybe not. Fourteen. Um, I don't know, Dim. Would they know a like? basics you would know basics you wouldn't necessarily you wouldn't know the details as to what the two medallions mean except that they come from uh the forge kin the forge kin is the guild that runs your basic craftsmen so these are not those who are implementing aether weave into their materials they're creating the base material so this is your swordsmiths your jewelers your artisans your you know sculptors um you would not necessarily know what those two medallions mean, um, but the fact that there are two mm -hmm. probably means someone who has some uh, a higher level in there. Right. Very nice. I was just on my way to an appointment that I'm now dreading even more, thanks to the front desk. But I could I could light off some steam before I head back. I don't have to. Pay, I, I don't have to do the appointment until tomorrow i just needed to want i just wanted to get out of here today completely understandable um i feel like we're gonna need more than just the three of us though um oh. i would like to make another perception check to 
scout our potential. Yeah, make another perception check. <laughs> say, Don't fuck has been me. like, you're kind of like <laughs> hovering behind this conversation. Kind of like, I'm assuming there's buildings behind the bench. So just kind of like leaned against a wall, like hardcore listening, but not like. Oh, yeah. This is, it kind of has like the illusion of being kind of a tourist town spot in this square here. Mm -hmm. You're on this nice, beautiful iron rot couple benches that are right next to each other. And then right behind you is like a little sidewalk through the streets. Uh, and then behind there are there a couple buildings. And in between those buildings was the uh, alley you just came out of. Okay. So I basically did like one of those, like if you're looking at the building, like step out of the alley and immediately lean against, like step to the left, lean. Just kind of listening mm -hmm. like, huh, tempting kind of vibe. Um, natural 19. Or 24. Natural 19. Ooh. Uh, you definitely are able to take note a little bit more of the people around you. Um, you can see uh, both Emerson and Elliot sitting on that bench looking kind of awkward, but some of the contraptions that you notice on Elliot's belts and wear seem to indicate, especially as a craftsman yourself, a more mechanical understanding than you'd expect from an average person. Kind of like... uh, they, yeah, they they definitely seem to be a little crafty themselves in a more explosive nature. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think is a way to word it. Um, and you also, see as Joel this... said, say less. <laughs> <laughs> and if you could remind me, Emerson, what is your main weapon? Pull your mic down. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta remember what it is, honestly. Is it a longbow? Long, long sword. Long sword. Oh. Yeah, so you see a long sword, a very nice craftsmanship hanging off of Emerson's hip. Okay. You also notice um, across the way, it looks like a, a teenage fear bowl kid has like tried to go into a cafe, cafe across the street, like pulled on the handle, knows it was locked, saw the close sign, and is now like, <clears throat> and starts like talking to random people in the crowd. Looks oh. a little, looks a little jittery, a little jumpy. Hold on one second. Say that one more time. Looks a little jumpy, a little jittery. Um, more f confused, followed by a little, little stress, <laughs> but more in a "oh crap, what did I do?" kind of way. It's definitely more like "oh shit, that was supposed to work," um, <laughs> and is now like talking to random people. You can make an insight check. That's my... Uh, 19 total. 19. As a member of Forgekin, you know what it looks like when an apprentice has <sighs> lost someone important. Oh no! <laughs> no! Maybe talking to random people in a what did I mess up way. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. He looks like he's lost someone or something. <laughs> oh, baby, no. <sighs> okay. Um. So I'm just pulling up, pulling up the uh, note, uh, the one note right now. Hold on. Um, can I spot the medallion? Is it entered apprentice or ju or apprentice? This is actually not an apprentice from Forgekin. Ah, uh, but definitely exudes that shit. When that, am I meant to oh, go? I, I I lost my my my. Yep, <laughs> I lost my adult. <laughs> oh no. 
chaperone! It isn't long before this young Faribol boy comes over to your group and goes, Uh, excuse me, I don't I don't mean to intrude. Um, how many of you have seen? Uh, Lady Cromwell, I was supposed to meet her at a cafe, and it's locked, so I guess she's not in there. <laughs> I believe it's that building, and I point to the building that I saw Lady Cromwell walk into. But I just tried the door, it's locked. Did she, Can't did help she you more than that. She... I saw her walk in, but have you tried the back else. entrance? Maybe they may also be doing business they don't want to be interrupted during. Well, that doesn't sound like Lady Cromwell at all. Hmm. She usually lets me sit in on her business. So we just like the business deal. That's why we were going to get lunch. We've been in talks for three hours. And then I just delivered the rest of the paperwork to the, back to the Aether King Guild, back from when we left the, the Miners family, and I don't... Did she tell you to come into the cafe? Yes. Then why was she... George, go with her. What? Hold... hold. Who did? Her guard, George. Mm -hmm. she, uh, was she was... Was she... Uh player question. Was she uh, flanked by two people or one? She was flanked by one guard. Okay. Who stopped um, at the door and then you saw someone approach them and then you saw that figure approach who approached leave and then a couple minutes later you watched the guard walk away. Oh. Okay. I oh. misunderstood that conversation. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. The guard was over there. Um. Someone appears to have gotten his attention, and I could see where they went, though. Hmm. That doesn't sound like George. Hmm. Do you know which way he went? Maybe I can find him. Sorry, I lost him in the crowd, dude. Hmm. Well, thank you. And begins to walk off to ask more people around. Good. I s Too bad they worked for an uptight rich. <clears throat> Sagan goes to sit on the same bench as Elliot and Emerson. <clears throat> okay. Are we'll you see again but, since they've been scanning. <laughs> but is going to leave the axe with axe. Leave the axe leave with the axe. axe. With axe. <laughs> 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 um. <laughs> No, you don't go, uh, you go. <laughs> he just kind of like, he assumes you kind of like shoved in his direction. And he's very carefully like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, you see him wield it like it's fucking nothing. You, ha like, yeah. hands it over to you. Ways more than I do. <laughs> Small Thor's hammer moment. <laughs> Near enough. Um, Keep an eye on that. If, if if I see one chip, it's going in. It... it weighs more than I do. <laughs> All due respect, anything can happen. I see one chip. Chips on stone. It's not a very good weapon, now, is it? I'll do my best. I'm not moving from here. <laughs> And yes, you are getting a very smug tiefling face staring at you right now. <laughs> Just both hands on the bench, like this. Legs crossed in front of him. A smug grin um, um, is returned. And Sagan goes to um, sit on the bench with Elliot and uh, Emerson. Are they apart? Or they sit next They're to each other. They're both pretty awkward people. They probably would be like one on one side of the bench. <laughs> the other. Sagan sits in the, the middle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sit, be somewhere again. close, but be somewhere close, but be as far away as you can. Yep. Uh, Sagan immediately sits in the middle. You see Ellie automatically just tense again, <laughs> just instantly. The ears just go down. <laughs> the ears just go. Nope. Um. <laughs> uh, Turns to Emerson first. That is a very nice longsword. It 
very well made. Uh, I um, I, I, uh, I have a penchant when it comes to smithing. I just wanted to uh, congratulate you on owning a well-crafted weapon. Hmm. <laughs> Honestly, that's probably what he would do. Just kind of like... Thanks. <laughs> and then just kind of awkwardly kind of half, half turn the other way. <laughs> if you are able to... If you're able to use it and uh, want to earn a bit of money, uh, the group on the other bench are looking to recruit. Uh, Sagan is doing this like, like so it's only with an airshot of these two, but softly spoken outward. So it's like hushed within the immediate vicinity. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, I just read that. Jesus Christ. Um, Sorry. You're not. <laughs> no. Um, it is completely up to you, but I think it might be a good opportunity considering the people that we are going to infiltrate or apparently child kidnappers if that is of any interest to you and then immediately turns to elliot elliot's grip on the bag tightens just a smidge more <laughs> just... Jules leans forward and, and looks at elliot but, remember confidence but immediately sees everything on the belt Would you, by any chance, be either one of the Forgekin or Aetherkin? Or belong to a crafting guild? I'm self-taught. <laughs> he just very awkwardly, just, I'm self-taught. <laughs> oh. I must applaud and congratulate you on your fine craftsmanship, then. Thank you. He seems to visibly relax just a smidge when you're talking to him about something he knows. Uh, I, I must say, like, um, are, are these made from a iron and nickel um, alloy to um, help with elasticity as well as uh, for the help with the fortune process? His eyes light up a little bit. He's just like, oh, okay, <laughs> I'm talking shop. <laughs> <laughs> Sagan knows, man. Sagan knows. <laughs> it's um, very similar to what I make my hand axe with, as it helps with the throwing ability as well as maintain um, the uh, fine edge. It's lightweight and durable, and honestly, really easy to come by. It, it very much is. It's very easy in demand. And. So, what exactly does it, does um, Elliot have on that belt? Is it like, is it bomb? Is it legit? Is it legitimately incendiary <laughs> devices here? <laughs> you see little like vials, just different colors of vials along his belt, but most importantly, on his wrist, you see a gauntlet of sorts. I think Assassin's Creed, you know, the blade, except. It has a storage for three separate daggers because they can shoot it. <laughs> yeah. Look, it's just a looking, funky little thing. Looking at this gauntlet. That is impressive work. Thank you. Um, if I may, uh, first of all, my name is Sagan. Elliot. <laughs> He just kind of like awkwardly sticks his hands out because he knows that's what you do. Um, uh, takes the hand. You notice a. You definitely notice a blacksmith's a blacksmith's grip. Immediately, just yep. Uh, Elliot Elliot is a little weaker just because he is shy. <laughs> mm. 
like Sega doesn't know his own strength sometimes, so it, it might be just the ah. <laughs> uh, it's, sorry. Um, okay. Uh, I have a proposition for uh, you, if me and a group of people are uh, going to cause some trouble for some very bad people, and you seem very capable in uh, interesting situations, and I wanted, if you wanted to, to earn maybe a little bit more money to see if you'd like to cause some trouble to very bad people. And when I say very bad people, I mean some of the worst people. His eyes are just kind of like flicking back and forth as he's kind of weighing the pros and cons of this situation. And he just kind of like, after about like 15 seconds, you see him slowly nod. <laughs> uh, very well. And, okay. uh, Leaving Emerson to think on that while talking to El uh, Elliot, two birds, one stone. <laughs> Turns back to Emerson. And, um, what is your choice? Uh, are you what? muted? Still oh, no. 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 <laughs> Hella silent. <laughs> Let's see, it's Um, he's still like mulling it over. I mean, he had kind of like half turned the other way uh, earlier on. He just kind of slowly turns back. Um, just all right. Very well. I will. Um. Once, uh, once we move, once we move out, uh, be sure to follow. And you hear just a very sudden, like quiet, but just suddenly a voice um, from like kind of behind you because Athena has just appeared at the back of the bench. Just I don't suppose you've got room for one more. Oh, dude! Yeah. <laughs> what <Where laughs> bench do you do this behind? The, the um, tieflings or the the introverts? The introverts, yes, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> just watching all of this at this point and is like, she's just like, sorry, don't mean to frighten. Just you being made when I see one, and I've got nothing left to do today. Got room for another? Turns to the tieflings and just goes. <laughs> 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 Also, Axe takes a second, and uh, while still very carefully holding your axe, by the way. Um, by the way, we might need to go help your uh, apprentice friend. Something's something's up with that shot. I, they just let him in here and locked that door back again. And that kid, I think something's up. We might That's need to just go do a little, uh, a little recon. Let's let's yeah. check. Right. The, the guard that got stood outside, a uh, hooded figure walked up to them, spoke to them, walked off, and then the guard left. So, that's all I saw. Yeah, something, something's weird. So, For sure. Goes, that does sound like shaded deedlings. All right. Let's go shade a kid from potentially himself and maybe some high pollutant something or other. Oh, uh, I'm always down for that. Uh, takes the axe gently <laughs> from you, but picks it up like it's nothing. <laughs> Athena, you know, still like lingering in on all of the conversation. <laughs> Elves, am I right? <laughs> still lingering on all of the conversations. It's just like, I'm down for recon. I can get you answers in like 20 minutes if you want it. Oh, it's like sneakies. very interesting. Very interested in everything going on. Very bored. Very interested. All right. Bye bye, me. You do look like, look like you can cause some fun. This should be interesting. Looks like we've got us a couple Never of... Never want to turn down a little mischief. Yeah. So we've got us some fighters. We've got us some sneaky people. We've got... I don't even know what kind of powerhouse you're bringing. And just kind of gestures to all of Jules. <laughs> <laughs> you just gestured uh, to all of me. You just gestured to all of me. <laughs> <laughs> and I... Oh. 
and thing. <laughs> I, just, I bring up my arm, my my arms like this, and you see uh, cracks start coming straight up the middle, and it starts to glow. And you see like this radiant energy collect up here, and then choom, shoot up at my hand, and it goes thirty feet into the sky. Yeah, yeah, mine, mine doesn't do that. Yeah, <laughs> I got all kinds of toys. Very, my my tail wags behind me. Very, <laughs> very Elliot, pretty. watching watching Joel's arms crack open. Like, what is your reaction to? Elliot is staring. <laughs> Elliot is just like, I want to play with it, but I can't touch <laughs> on a person. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Fun. Yeah, you can tell this is like some super advanced Aetherweave tech that has been implanted in me. He is looking. He is looking with his little eyes. <laughs> Drink it up, sweetie. <laughs> I say looking over wow. at Elliot. He just instantly looks down. <laughs> just instantly. It's like I've been addressed. While, while I am not shaming in use of this word, it is simply the word that comes to mind. I have never heard of a slutty monk before, but I'm here for it. <laughs> I am the perpetually horny tiefling. No. I love this so much. <laughs> yes. I love this so much. <laughs> and, 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 and Sarah is regretting How everything. many times I had to retake that bitch because I kept slipping out bard instead of monk because perpetually horny. <laughs> it's impossible not to say Bard after that. Fair. Oh, oh my God! I'm here for it. I'm so here for it. So, Athena, you said something about scouting. Were you gonna head over and see what you could find? Um. Yeah, it's just kind of like shrugging, like, yeah, I can go look. All right. Want or you can stay. I'll be in and out in twenty minutes. I say let's get a little bit more. Let's get a little closer to strategically for the rest of us that way if you need backup we're right there and once we have a plan of attack we'll be much closer sound good i was going to like chuckle slightly and just be like back up i was going to you're serious uh yeah yeah (laughs) that works always best to have a backup plan even if you don't need it it's still there i was going to place Uh, myself by the door i was going to place myself by the door and basically batter it in when we need to fair enough Ellie just slowly kind of raises his hand like he's in a classroom. <laughs> you, you can talk freely. It's it's okay. I have locked it. Just very yeah, with plainly. With confidence, just... dear. I have lockpicks. <laughs> like, <laughs> <my toes. laughs> <laughs> like, okay. I'm oh, good. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Ellie. It's just a bean. I can't oh, absolutely <laughs> must protect and, all costs. This and, one, and. This, this is mine now. <laughs> <laughs> You're mine now. Mind you, he's five foot, so he's probably much shorter than all of you. Yeah. Is By the way, Elliot, with this, how awkward, how uncomfortable are you feeling? Like, are you starting to get like really like anxious at this attention, or it's. He felt a little, he, thanks to Sagan, he felt a little bit calmer, and thanks to Joel's display, it's just like, I can see myself being comfortable eventually, just not now. <laughs> With that Honestly, in- he's- oh, my bad? No, uh, no, continue, I don't want to interrupt you. Oh, you're fine. Uh, I was gonna say, honestly, at this point, he's probably, like, taken his bag off his back, uh, off his back, which is separate from the bag at his side, and, like, you see him reaching, reaching his hand inside and just scratching at something. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> something about your bag, so we're good. Hmm. This is just with bag. Uh, also, a quick round before we disperse, just to make sure we all know how to address each other, because hey, you doesn't go very far in a public setting. Uh, I'm Max. Now you. Jules. Sagan. Athena. Mm-hmm. Elliot. Mm-hmm. Emerson. Heck yeah. Nice to meet you all. 
Let's go potentially save some highfalutin lady. Yes, or let's. something like that. And with that, and her we're going to take a break. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good. Alrighty. Like we're going to end the session. I'm like, no! No! no, no, no. no! <laughs> like, what? No, no. no. <laughs> Fucking Anderson! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Anderson. <laughs> Fucking Mercer! So, I don't know if you knew this. I'm to take a drink. <laughs> my dad's name is Neil. Oh my god. Neil All Anderson. of my brother's friends used to come up to my bro my dad and just go, Mr. Anderson. Jesus. Constantly. <laughs> because his first name is Neil. <laughs> I love that. Uh, uh, anyway, yep, we're gonna uh, switch to a break. We'll be what ten minutes? Sounds good to me. Uh, we're gonna be we'll be back in ten minutes, up. and um, yeah, this should be interesting. All right, um, <laughs> yeah. catch you all later. Bye. The third season of a Lionsgate Plus original series, The Great, is streaming exclusively on Lionsgate Plus. Follow Catherine the Second.
What are you doing? What's that, Sergey?
Want to make the most of festival season?
No need to apologize, ever. Nope. Especially in mind games, mental health always comes first. Oh yeah, absolutely. You also just totally missed me panicking because I got a ring stuck on my finger. Oh god! I was, when I when I like I move rings between fingers when I'm thinking, and I got it stuck because I pushed it past a knuckle. So it was just silent panic of me like making a lot of faces and trying to pull it off the knuckle. I got it. We're fine. Because like, I, I saw the faces. Of... <laughs> I saw the faces and just messaged like, her. Okay? I was like, "Are you okay like, out there?" Oh, um, worst. Y'all saw. Good. No, it's fine. Just a lot of silent panic. You you made me think. You all saw just the engagement ring. Mm -hmm. You saw it with its snug ring that goes over top. I have all three here. Do you want to see what that looks like? Yes. Go on. <laughs> just everybody moves closer to the camera. <laughs> Dude, I'm looking at an iPhone. <gasps> 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 We get married. Yes! It's gonna be my finger. I'll take a picture and sh show show you guys. I love yeah. it so much. <laughs> ah! That boy outdid I'm himself. Getting these three uh three piece sets. Hello, random light. Come here. That boy outdid himself, really. Definitely. He's so good. Uh, he outdid himself when did I tell you how he like talked to my parents? I don't think so. Oh my god. Um. Do you want me to put uh, put back on break because we're currently live? That's totally fine. That's fine. Um. So, uh, hello everyone at home. Hi. Um, welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> You're about to Greeting. hear part of the story as to why I'm now freaking engaged. Um. Yes. So he went to his parents one weekend and i wasn't able to go so he drove down to his parents who live in delaware that's an hour and a half drive he then from there borrowed his grandmom's car because it's got better mileage drove to my parents house which is another hour and a half away to knock on their door in the middle of the night to ask for permission so he went out of his way to ask in person because he knows how hurt my dad was with one of my siblings. So he went out of his way to my parents' house to ask them in person. Spent 15 minutes at my parents' house and then drove the hour and a half back to his parents' house before coming home. He wow. drove five hours that day. That's amazing. This boy, I, I swear. <laughs> the lad. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Sorry. We were not quite that cool. We basically just showed up and told our parents, like, hi, we're engaged. Sorry. <laughs> for the moment thing. Very much ADHD. Just like, surprise! Hello! He's got, he, he's, he's very, very meticulous. <laughs> Anyone who's met him knows that he just he's a planner. That's fair. So he was a planner. All right. Um back to our story. Yep. <laughs> Jeez, sir. So having recently learned that something is definitely going up with the fearbold kid in the cafe across the street, you all decided that maybe you should look into it. I know Athena made the comment about going off, seeing what she could check out. Uh, but it's up to you guys to see how you will proceed from here on. What do you do? Well, Elliot mentioned that they had uh, thieves tools, lockpicks. So we could possibly make a distraction or a wall. Uh, if you like. I also have thieves tool and uh, move. Uh, Cast a little bit of a spell, and uh, a small floating hand appears in front of me. Also got a little bit of uh, distance picking as well. Just a little ghost hand waves. <laughs> um. <laughs> Did you just wave with the mage hand? <laughs> 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 this bean. Oh, uh, Jules, what color are your magic, by the way? 
Honestly, I have no idea because I only have the one. Oh, <laughs> the fair. one thing. Fair. I can only make a mage hand. <laughs> Everybody That's has one. Fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 just an initiate. <laughs> Artificer initiate, actually. So I mean technically I could also cure wounds. But uh let's say my magic is green. That that matches with my aesthetic. Oh yeah. Like a ghostly grey green hand then. Um Okay. Athena just kind of like looks at the whole group and is like, So, do we have a plan? We're gonna. Are we distracting? Or are we just going? I'm still used to doing this with a lot of people. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure we can make a distraction. And I'll uh, I'll take my arm and, and link it in axes, pull them up and out into the crowd. And I say, uh, <laughs> start oh, singing shit. or start making some music and I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna start dancing to whatever axe creates both uh, of you make, make performance a... checks fuck yes I can make a performance uh, <laughs> you've been waiting for that one haven't you um while Elliot right. is uh, picking okay. while Elliot is um, picking the lock I can stand guard and make sure nothing comes out and hits them too hard 24. Yes, please. Yeah, 20 for 21. Let's go. <laughs> I'm using my hula hoop. I was like, <laughs> I'm providing you a great baseline. I love to set the scene here with this because Jules scoops Axe's arm and pulls him into the middle of the crowd, and the loot is quickly strung out, and it's just like El Dorado, like this ultimate. Yes. <laughs> moment with the two of them and Megan back to it is just like and we're just gonna and like it's continuing the conversation oblivious <laughs> to the performance they're doing, they're doing their shit I'm doing mine I know the plan <laughs> like, I can stand guard <laughs> as this is happening by yes and then it's just like watching me just like I'm, I'm doing a bit a of a distraction sorry yeah no, Doing a bit of a, a, a belly dance and, and lots of hip movement. Get that get that hula hoop whirling, mm -hmm. and kind of kind of pulling in random people from the crowd and letting them go, and you know, just as much of a distraction as I could be. Oh, and it is very effective. <laughs> um, <laughs> Athena is like standing over. Was it Elliot or Sagan that was picking the lock? Elliot. 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 Okay, that's what I thought. It's kind of like. Hovering, like, not, like, hovering over Elliot, but, like, kind of, like, halfway turned, like, watching everybody else around while also keeping, like, a look at Elliot out of the corner of the eye, just, like, kind of waiting. Okay. Moment, like, hey, people are gonna do it for me. This is easy. This is great. Um, kind of going vibe. along with that, as, as this convert, as the crowd is, is gathering around Jules and Axe as they're going through their giant performance, you all begin heading over to the cafe across the way. Sagan turning to face and keep an eye out amongst the crowd, see those who are not caught up in the display that is being presented. Elliot heading down and getting ready to tinker. There is a window up on the top of the door um, that you might be able to peer through if you're tall enough. <laughs> How tall is this window? Elliot is not. <laughs> you ever seen one of those like, uh, um, uh, entryway doors where it's just like the top there's like a single like uh, uh arched a fan light the top. this is the millworks coming you... out of fan light yes <laughs> i was like are you talking about in the door or above the door it's in the door but oh, it's like, okay. yeah fan light yeah 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 fan light exterior door very common um this isn't home depot come on <laughs> <laughs> Well, that gonna work all the only reason my parents um, room was at the door because his, he's the only person tall enough to be seen through that <laughs> um, well then that was gonna be my question then if athena is like 510 is that tall enough you think no, i mean you can see it but you can only see like up into the top of okay i was gonna say 
My I'm six one. Sagan, you said you're what? Six, six two? Six two, yeah. But I'm happy it's to two, I'm happy to quite literally lift up Elliot to go, what do you see? <laughs> <laughs> Just, what do you see? Ready to go, and it's just like you <laughs> upwards. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I'm locked picking the window now. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's like, it's like, can like, can I perceive? Actually, for flavor, I'd like to add that before they walk up across the street, you see this little owl cat jump out of Elliot's bag as he puts this other bag into his bag because <laughs> he needs space to put the other bag, <laughs> and he's just like. Get out. <laughs> oh, no. I, yes. I, I'm sorry. Her. You said an owl cat? voice out of the duck yes. hair in Elliot's throat. And climbing out of the bag comes this... Well, describe what your owl cat looks like so they know. A, a foot of fluff and feathers. Uh, white with little black spots. You can tell it's a very playful creature. It's always on alert looking around for something to play with. But it seems very like responsive to Elliot's like chirps and communication. He's a little guy. Oh, it's so darling. An even smaller yeah. bean. An even yes. smaller bean. He was We're protect the so that they may bean. protect the beanies. We're a Matryoshka doll of beans. Um, <laughs> baby. Um, um, so this owl cat is following Elliot across the street. So when he gets picked up, you probably hear a very distressed owl cat on the floor. <laughs> um, I will cast speak with animals and go. I'm I'm just borrowing your friend to uh, uh, peer through the door to make sure there's no one inside set before we lock the uh, pick the lock. And just that uh, kind of goes to Elliot. Uh, I'm just gonna, like, tell me what you see through, and then we'll pick lock just in case we don't run into anyone unsavory. Perception check. Whoop. Up <laughs> 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 oh, I go. Cool. If anyone wants to see the references we used for the owl cat, you can look in the group. That's hot Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> He's a baby. He's a baby. As a boy, boy. And I got an eighteen for perception. Eighteen. Okay. Um, oh. I would also like for one or both of you to make a stealth check, so you don't like slam against the door to catch yourself or whatever to give the way that you're, you know, up my, in the window. My stealth is plus three. What's your stealth? Plus five. I'm happy to give the, um, them advantage <laughs> if that works. Take it, take advantage, Elliot. Because <laughs> oh, with advantage, yes. Six two hulking behemoth of an elf, stealthy. No. Twenty one. Twenty one. You're able to catch yourself, so you don't have to bang against the the window as you're suddenly hoisted <laughs> upwards towards the window. Uses his feet. He probably uses his little feet to stop himself against the wall and kind of bends leg. <laughs> Soft pad. Literally just no beans. No beans. Hey, rabbits um, are fucking stealthy as shit, though. You. Looking yes. through the window. Mm, through the wall. Elliot too. Elliot, since you're looking through, I also need you to make an insight check. <laughs> that's not oh. bad that's a 17 what's my insight okay. plus two 19 just hey no just plan. Plan. Um, I was about to die <laughs> uh, first off it is despite being in the middle of the day it has been darkened in here so the lights have been dim brought down as if it's closed however you do see uh about four staff mm -hmm members that are just kind of like walking around the inners of this cafe and keeping an eye out it catches you though that they are armed you also notice um uh, back towards the kitchen area you see a couple more individuals one of them that seems much more beefy uh, and another one who is standing over a uh, womanly figure 
in very nice red uh, uh, flowing uh, dress outfit and a small fear bulk boy. <laughs> the uh, woman is bound, gagged, and unconscious on the ground. <laughs> And the kid is tied up and gagged and seems to be nursing a head wound. <laughs> oh. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> he, like, slowly goes down. S- oh, seeing no, Elliot's no, reaction, no. instead of just going, is going to gently... <laughs> just l- l- literally by, 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 your, by your scruff, because he knows enough that the scruff is like, is fine to pick you up by because it's like rabbit <laughs> what what do you see there there are armed there are lots lots of people uh with weapons and um our little friend from earlier is bound and hurt and i think the person that he was looking for is unconscious well shit ah Puts you down gently. They're on alert. There's too many people. I don't think going through the front door is going to be any sneakier than going any other way. So we either have the option of finding a back way, or we just barge in and catch them off guard. What uh, turns to Athena and Emerson? What do you advise? I mean. Do you advise we find another way in that's a little bit, mm, mm, that's not as watched, or do we just barge in and hope we catch them by surprise? Well. Because I could easily just barge in as he holds up this behemoth of an axe. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I like the idea of barging in. Um, Is me an option? When you've got this many people in front of you, because as amazing as their wonderful performance is, noise is going to attract attention. Probably the best option is to see if there's a back entrance. It's not going to do us much good as far as giving us an advantage, but there's less people to see it around the back, and we might be able to get away with a little bit more as far as not drawing attention from the outside. Drawing attention from the inside looks like something that's going to be unavoidable. So prepare yourselves for that. But I, I may if have we can I... keep it sneaky, I think it will be less likely to cause more damage to the people inside. I may have an idea, though. Go on. If uh, Athena and... Uh, the way Emerson's dressed, is it like um, light armor? Like, does e- Emerson look agile? He. Like, not fully. He's got, not, like, not, not fully like, twink, but definitely on the <laughs> agile side. <laughs> um, he's not really got much armor at all. I think I had him with, like, maybe like a shoulder piece. For a little protection but not much more than that so make- definitely more agile okay. uh so you can make a um insight check i will take that natural 18. <laughs> uh mm-hmm. natural 18 for insight uh 23. <laughs> <laughs> emerson seems dexterous as fuck. nice if if you if you two sneak find a back way in, and then, um, uh, because now that because Fentair work is messaging as well, because I, sorry, my Fentair is getting an ad now. Son of a bitch, <laughs> skip. <laughs> um, hot singles in your area looking for a connection. Ah, spam bot. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Um, but now, now that I know of these people, I can contact them using my Fentair, correct? Yes, now that you know them, you can use either the Fentair, or all of you have sending stones, sending stones that are right. modified into basically cell phones. So you can nice. either basic use the 
bend tears to create kind of like AR communication with the people around you, or you can just like text on the sending stone so it's a little quieter. Um, if if you two find uh points to Athena and Emerson, if you two find a back way in, and let us know when you're inside, I can barge in and create distraction for you to get them from behind. I like the idea. Are you up for it? She like looks at Emerson. Mic oh, down. Did oh. not hear you. Yeah, no, you cut out. No. You you may no, speak. it it it's down. I just my mind blanked all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. All good. Uh. It's, about as good a plan as we've got. All right then. We'll sneak around. I'll let you know when we're in. Sneaking around. <laughs> <laughs> um, Elliot, would you like to stay with me or would you like to be the stealthy? I'll stay with you. Probably best you stay behind me then. <laughs> he just kind of. I'm just gonna go. Um, it's like clearly know what you're doing in a combat situation. But yeah. Um. Oh, but also turn. Uh, turns to Elliot. What is your friend's name, by the way? Albert. Albert. It's. Um. Speak with animals is ten minutes, so still up. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, it's a pleasure to meet you, Albert. Uh, you are very fluffy and adorable. Oh well, God! This kind of picks Albert up and puts around, <laughs> puts around <laughs> neck. He just, he just kind of just drapes. <laughs> you can see the owlbear is also the owl cat is just like owl bear. <laughs> Draped on the shoulder. That's a big scarf. <laughs> <laughs> he is a scarf. <laughs> is draped on Elliot's shoulders and is also kind of giving you the side eye, like, why can I understand you? <laughs> <laughs> I, never had I have an ability that allows me to speak with animals. Looks to Elliot. <laughs> looks back to you and like tucks further behind Elliot's head on the floor. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Chirps at him and gives him the twist. <laughs> <laughs> We're okay. You just hear, I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you know Albert has like two brain cells and it, it they work the same way the DVD loading screen works. Sometimes it never quite hits the corner. Oh. Uh, two, two, two brain <laughs> cells fighting for third place. <laughs> two brain cells fighting for third place, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't die, Kate, Jesus! <laughs> unlike, unlike Lena, she can't, she can't blame him on the titties either. <laughs> Oh, my cheeks hurt. Oh. Wait till after I swallow my wine for that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Babe Waiter, you got this. <laughs> Icarus, why? Hey, this is going to come out of my nose and out of my notebook. I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. I've been smiling so much this entire game, my cheeks hurt. Oh, yeah. I felt. <laughs> oh. Mitch is having a Barbie moment. <laughs> I thought it could come up. Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> mm, I'm fine. Okay. Anyway, after this, after this um, like exchange about owl, the owl cat, um, Elliot kind of just looks up at Tegan and he's just like, "You said we needed a distraction." Uh, yes. Um... The giant crowd behind you with the hooping and clapping. <laughs> well, for the people inside. Specifically, <laughs> he's talking about the people inside the building. <laughs> uh, do you have a suggestion? Fireworks or smoke? He just uh, looks up. <laughs> <laughs> like, as blunt. 
Let's do a smoke because we don't want to cause too much damage to the property. <laughs> no, not to mention the, like the captives or anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry about that. Well, they're, al <laughs> they're already hurt, so <laughs> well, we don't want to do any more damage to them, though. Yeah, but you're the smoke do doesn't actually either. cause any damage. It just obscures view. <laughs> Unless you breathe it in. <laughs> Depending on the where they're from, they're fine because. Some... Finding waste. If, if they're yeah. combining ways, they're fine. <laughs> if they're not, oh well. <laughs> um, <laughs> Max and Emerson, if if you guys, I don't know if you guys have discussed all of your fen tears or all of your ducks tears, uh, you would notice that Jules has the ducks tear on the back of the leg. Uh, Sagan already described his. Uh, Emerson and Axe have the the mask one that indicates binding waste. But Emerson also has the throat ones, like Elliot has, for Chimerot. Nice. Mm. And Athena's got long sleeves, so you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Athena's a little sneaky. A little, um... little sneaky sneaky. <laughs> and speaking of those duck stairs, you, you could swear Mystery. sometimes during uh, Jules' dance, they don't quite touch the ground before they hop off again. Mm-hmm. Right. All right. Um, I guess Biff. I think it would probably be like as they're sneaking around, just kind of, kind of to Emerson, but kind of to herself, just thinking out loud, but trying to keep him in the loop at the same time. Just kind of like, I hate cafes. They never have upper floors. If they had an upper floor, we could sneak in from above. Fuck. Just like thinking through everything and and mildly annoyed. I guess we'll have to find. Some kind of door or something. I, hold on. <laughs> I need a. He doesn't. Never mind. I, I roll to see if he lets. If Elliot's gonna let Athe or Athena Wait, and Emerson please. know about the smoke bomb. Apparently, I rolled a three, so no, they don't get to. Know. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. We may have a chance. Sagan might. Come on. Come on, Sagan. <laughs> Come on, Sagan. Have a brain cell. It's cocked. <laughs> 14, we're fine. Oh <laughs> this could have been so bad. Because you see Elliot's already just, you see him fiddling with a, a this little glass jar and a piece of fabric. <laughs> That's all you see. He's just getting ready. <laughs> uh, getting his, I want to call it a cell phone, but at the same time, I'm like, we can call it a cell phone. Guess a cell phone. Well, is um, sending, sending phone. phone. Uh, just goes, uh, Emerson? Uh, Emerson, just letting you know that uh, we will be deploying a smoke bomb uh, to uh, cause even more of a distraction. The number you have dialed. <laughs> <laughs> so just dial up tone. <laughs> fucking, fucking signal and um, Aesodai's absolute bullshit. <laughs> oh, man. Um. <laughs> this little smoke bomb apparatus. And he kind of just tugs on Sagan's shirt. Like, can you lift me back up? <laughs> I need to go back up. Um, does the... Does the window look look like it's on a hinge where it opens, whether we can slip it in, or do we have to still um, unlock the door to kind of go smoke out and then breach? Uh, the window is is a glass piece inside the door, so you would still have to get the door a little bit open. Uh, um, I liked your thinking though, Percy. The just. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um. Go ahead. Uh, no. I was just gonna ask. Um, assuming we're at Emerson and I are at the back, is is there? Can I roll perception and see if there's anything other than a back door back there, or whether or not that's our only option? If you guys want to do a walk around the building, yeah, go ahead and make a okay. perception check you as want... you're walking around. Do you want perce perception or passive perception? 
Give it a perception roll. Okay. Why not? Is Emerson you can drinking? always use our massive vessels. Emerson, are you also walking around the building to do this? I th yeah, I think we both went. Okay, then either you both can roll or one of you can roll with advantage for perception. Okay. I rolled. I can roll again if you want or if you want to roll too, it's your choice. Yeah, I don't care. What are the other Just babes? Make a choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going with whatever you got. Oh, <laughs> uh, um, okay, well, mine's a dirty 20. I got a 14 again with a plus 6 for perception, so dirty 20. Okay, what did you fine. get? Did you get a nat 1, buddy? Oh, oh no! First. First nat 1. As you're circling Second. the building, very careful, keeping an eye out, um, you do notice that on the... Uh, if you're looking at the front door, the right okay, side of the building the does have a door on the side of it. Um, and then around the back, there is like large stained glass windows um, that could be broken and used to go behind if you wanted to. But you do know there for sure there is an entry on the right side of the building that does not seem to be overly watched. Um, surveying the options, I think Miss Kennedy would be like, kind of stand there and like, like just kind of chewing on the side of her cheek, like thinking for a minute, and then turn to Emerson and like, so options. Windows are in the back. Good for sneaking. However, unless you've got some fancy way to pry them open, we're going to have to break them, which will cause noise. However, there is a door as well on the side so less sneaky but won't be so much of a noise alerting them to our entrance as it were uh unless we time it with everybody's distraction up front whatever they do thoughts seems like the door is the better option between fair enough what i mean I guess mainly just because of the noise. There is then. Um, and she's gonna like sneak over to the door. I know I have thieves tools. Is there lock picks in thieves tools? I've never had thieves tools yes, before. Yeah, oh, okay, cool. Tools would include right, cool. Yes, hey, we are, so we oh. both have thieves tools. Cool. Okay, cool. Um, we have a lot of thieves okay. tools in this group. You're right? <laughs> we have like, like, all of them have thieves tools. Have <laughs> yeah. Um so she's gonna like um walkie talkie the other group and uh <laughs> <laughs> and just be like, Oi, uh scouted the options. There's a side door. Doesn't look like anybody's keeping an eye on it. I'm gonna pick the lock and go in that way. Uh, you guys got it figured out up front? I'm going Ozzy, I'm sorry. Uh, but we, we have, uh, the front door to unlock and we're going to throw smoke to, uh, cause a bigger distraction on the inside. Hovers 20 feet and lasts a minute. It, uh, thank you, Elliot. Uh... <laughs> It would last for about a minute, and it would cover about 20 feet of the cafe. So Did just you know? letting you know beforehand. Uh, just, yeah. just, Appreciate give us, it. just give us the moment you are inside, and we will deploy smoke, and then head our way in. Will do. Um, just going to pick the lock. I don't know if I need to roll anything for that. Uh, yes, you're going to roll sleight of hand. Cool. And Elliot was doing that on the front door, so you are also going to yes. roll play a hand. Beautiful. <laughs> it, um, is it a slide hand plus proficiency modifier? Oh, or oh, unless. Uh, if you are proficient and your sleight of hand does not already include proficiency, then yes. Basically, if you're proficient in thieves' tools, it becomes a dexterity check plus your proficiency bonus, which for most people is your your thieves' tools check. I keep forgetting about the proficiency bonus. 
It's an extra it's plus three. Five. It should be included already in your calculations it, on um, the it, 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 if, if sleight of hand was a skill that you chose, then it then you would have proficiency. <clears throat> but if it's not one that you chose, then you would have to add it externally. Hey, you got higher than me by like one, my guy. Uh, I'm talking to Emerson. Sorry. What? Um, <laughs> Um, so, okay, so when you roll on D&D Beyond, um, it shows up for everybody oh. else if they have their page pulled up. Yep. Oh. The game log. Um, did everyone ha Didn't get know that. above VTT okay. extension? Huh? Has everyone put the above VTT extension on so they can see the map? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um, I have no. I didn't know we had one. Is that what, in a group what is somewhere? It, it is in the, um, it, it got mentioned a long time ago. It's also in the OneNote. It's an extension for Chrome okay. or um, Firefox. Firefox. Um, I can also just, we can theater of the mind for ah. those who don't have it, and I'll take a picture of the map. Hold on. I'm adding it now. Anyway, um, Uh, I rolled a 22, by the way. Okay. 22. And what was yours, Elliot? 24. 24? All right. Give me one second. Let me finish putting something together, and then you guys can go into um, the above VTT, and I will show you the map. If you have not set that up yet, I will take a picture. Where do I go for the map once I get this downloaded? Um, um, on D and D Beyond, under campaigns, okay. uh, you will see a button under your character's name that says "View Above VTT." Also, Bard has re uh, redeemed a hydrate the whole stream, so everyone take a um, a drink. Bard, that's not fair. <laughs> I don't, I don't that's know. not fair. Because now is I'm... it the Water. content sharing enabled by Echo Accession, or hang on? I'm losing I my it. mind. So. Do, 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 do. Water. Yours is actually water, though. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, it isn't. It, it's it's flavored water mixed with a little bit of Mountain Dew. <laughs> it's more water than mine, which is water and Mountain Dew. It's it's sparkling water. Is there we? There are these flavored waters from um, Walmart. You That's blue like raspberry, and if you mix it with a Mountain Dew, it tastes like Voltage. And it's so good, oh, and it's so much better for you. <laughs> it's so much better for yeah. you. Also, they're like these huge-ass bottles. They're like this freaking tall and like thick, and they're like less than a dollar, and they taste decent. Yeah, like, see? Oh, nice. I see it now! <laughs> you see it? <laughs> okay, so I'm in. Okay, I so add... where did you say this thing is? I just, literally, I just googled above VTT. There we go. First I have it saved on that computer. The bookmark that's for Esselartale. Whoa, whoa, Esselartale. Having trouble Open there. that. Shut up. Open that. Um, campaign uh -huh. links. I already There's had that thing. pulled up anyway. Yeah. So, um, do the Google Chrome one and add the extension. There's whoa. two links. There's above VTT. Hold on, I'm coming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> also, don't forget to send a signal oh. to your um, to, uh, to distraction team. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Um, hold on. Distract distraction team is not going to be currently on the map because that's not quite, but... Um, we would like to be. <laughs> uh, uh, Elliot, you may have to let the distraction team know because I wrote a four. <laughs> let me see. L let me see if he has a brain cell. Let's see if they. That didn't even go in my freaking thing. 19. That Okay, he does have a brain cell. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I'll let them know. <laughs> he, in fact, will let them know. And then you can, like. I don't know. 
I can't tell them. which one is mine because they are so <laughs> tiny. Oh, that's where. Um, if you press like control and then zoom in with your thing, then uh, you'll zoom in on the map. Oh. I'm putting everyone where they would be about. Back. I can't remember where I put them. Hold on. Carry on. I'm just talking about socks. Elliot would be here, picking that door with Sagan right here. Okay, now it's this is amazing. <laughs> Fuck! Okay. Baby, were you able to figure it out? Okay. I, I just, for some odd reason, it had um, all of our pictures for the default ones, so I couldn't tell who was who. And now they're finally changing. <laughs> I'm like, oh, there we go. This there, is yeah. amazing. Are you enjoying above each other? I, I just, like, you told us what it is, but I hadn't seen it in action. I finally got it, like, connected and everything. And it, it just, it's so, it's so nice. <laughs> Isn't it? It's also, super God, this would have come in so much in handy for some, like, GKC fights. Holy shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> just a heads up, if something isn't moving for you, just refresh. refresh I have to do that constantly, but okay. I don't know if that's my connection or because I use Firefox instead of Chrome. So, um, just a heads up. Also, a uh, word to the wise for the stream. Um, I don't have a combat scene ready yet because I'm not sure how we're going to do it. That's okay. Um, so for us, we're using above VVT. For the player, uh, for the audience, unfortunately, it's theater of the mind for now. Um, for that, for anyone who is watching now, I will make a TikTok later just to show what our map looks like. Mm. So you'll be like, mm -hmm. oh, that was the building. Okay. Alright, is anyone anyway. all set? Yeah. I am. Yeah. Um, this is, it's actually pretty intuitive and user-friendly. Um, mm -hmm. The trick is just knowing uh, how to zoom, how to move the map around. Right-clicking will hold and drag your map if you need to drag and move. Um, you can move your character by clicking on your character and then using the arrow keys and it'll go up by the squares. Or you can drag them. Uh, Aren't I so glad I have right click on this laptop? That was sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, are you using a MacBook? Kinda. It's a Samsung. Then I cannot help Isn't you. Isn't it what, like, the it's Google okay. version? Yeah, it's fine. I can zoom into a specific spot on the map, so it's fine. Okay. I know with a MacBook, I can use two fingers and then just drag it. And then, oh! like, pinch and pull. <laughs> Drag it. <laughs> Drag it. A revelation! Drag it. <laughs> <laughs> right, are we all oh, set? Shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. With both doors now being successfully unlocked, what is the plan? I'll be more specific. With two doors being successfully unlocked and the crowds surrounding your bard and your monk. Um. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> Which I will also, I'm going to add to this. Axe and jewels. Make perception checks as you are still performing. Boy. Uh, who, right. who would have gotten the message from Elliot though? Um, out, 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 of the two, out of the two, out of the two. Evans, Axe, Jules. Okay, uh, Jules is odd, so he's gonna message Jules and be like, "We're going in now." It just, it's just very simple words. Just we're going in now. No explanation. Just um, wonderful. Was... Thank you for the heads up, I... Jules. What was your your role for perception? Twenty one. And Axe. I got a fifteen this time. Fifteen. Uh, Axe, you keep getting kind of hit by the crowds. You didn't watch the whole thing happen. All you know is the large group of friends that you've now made has become mm -hmm. two. <laughs> At that door. You saw briefly two of them walking off to one side. Uh, and Jules, you watched as two walked around the side of the building. These two now, it looks like you've seen them pick 
the lock, um, you're getting a sense that you might need to step away now. Okay. From your and then I got the, the message from Elliot. Uh, I'm going to do a nice big flourish to my dance and um, just kind of uh, announce. Oh, what do I announce? So just kind of stand and go, thank you, thank you. We'll be here t tomorrow, same time. And just kind of give, give a bow and, and collect any tips that I hadn't grabbed and uh, split those with, with Max. So you get 15 gold, six silver. And then oh, yeah. kind of work our way in into the crowd and then over to the building. Okay. While this is happening... You both have your door sets open and you know how to communicate with each other. Are you gonna remember to do it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, <laughs> uh, Rollies. <laughs> um, uh, I, I believe we agreed on smoke out, barge in, then yeah. Yeah. All right. Do you guys um, are you guys calling or texting each other this information? Yep. Um, would probably call just whichever one of them wanted to answer and just be like so are you distracting and then we're going in or is it the other way around before i just slide my way in through this door Dis i'm australia oh now i'm sorry mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, distracting and then going in you um ella will they hear the smoke bomb going off does it make a noise when it goes off Does it? That is a good question. Is there anything in the spell about it making a noise? Uh, let me double check. What are the components? There's a very strong chance that Athena may just end up being Australian for the rest of the campaign, and I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep Scottish, but no, it happens. At the end of the day, like... Australia is lovely. <clears throat> at the end of the day, if, you, if it falls natural to go Australian, go for it. Say you was Irish. <laughs> yes, Sega was supposed to be Irish, but then... I can't do Irish for the life of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's very Australian then. Surprise for the last and minute. See for you. Surprise <laughs> for the last minute change. She's Aussie now. Anyway, carrying on. Um, it says thick, thick black smoke spreads out from the target in a 20 foot radius, moving around corners. The area of the smoke is heavily obscured. The smoke persists for a minute or until a strong wind disperses it. Then in this case, That's I would all. say it's more of a smoke bomb than a flashbang. Awesome. It'll so, make a hiss. Perfect. A hiss. Okay. <laughs> It'll make a hiss. Um, and Elliot's not even going to open the door all the way. Um, he's going to light this thing, crack it open, and just roll it as far in as we possibly can. Uh, as they're can. on the phone, I saw a hand. Uh, as they're on the phone, is Joel, Jules and Axe is when you would be approaching. So you're now in the conversation. Yes. Uh, I was just going to say that while we're moving through the crowd, I'm going to fill in Axe with what I saw and what. I think is happening that they're going for for a scissor kind of technique. Looks like we got two on the side door, two on the front, and then whatever we decide to do. <clears throat> okay. Do you want to join the ones in the front or join the ones in the back? Sounds good. Oh, better for more like frontal assault. You are much more martially capable than me, at least by just physicality alone. I'll be support. <laughs> cool. Thank you. All right, you guys divide on your way as the, these guys are having their phone call conversations and are able to join in with those attack groups. Uh, we are starting this as a surprise round as you guys are entering. So first, Elliot, you go in and roll in your smoke bomb. I want everyone to roll initiative. We'll go through a surprise round. Um, and then we will jump into the actual combat. Remind me again the difference between surprise round and regular combat. Yes, I was going to get into that. Your Sorry. surprise round. No, no, no. Thank you for, for giving me a lead in. Um, so a regular combat round is when you have a bonus action, an action, and a movement. In a surprise round, you get one of the three. So you're going to get two move up to your your enemy or you're going to be able to bonus action something or you're going to be able to do an action you cannot do all three Emerged. and your opponents will have 
no time to do anything until the full combat. So they just, this just happens to them. Noted. I rolled my first one. Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Um, now, oh, is this shit. is this stream now at two natural twenties and two natural ones? Uh, no, two two natural twenties, three, three natural ones. ones, three natural oh. ones. I was about to say there is balance to the force, but there is not. Uh, <laughs> Sir, would you well, mind putting uh, Axe and I on the map? Yes. Uh, and yeah. you said Axe was going on the front. No, other way around. Axe going on the side, and Jules <clears throat> is going on the front. Yes. Yeah. Do, do, do. and. Jules, where did it drop you, Jules? Where did you go, sir? I'm gonna drop. I don't know. Don't see me. I just did it myself because I got tired of waiting. All right, there you go. Thank you. So, I gotta uh, do these and add to the combat tracker. And we're gonna take out and take out and let us see. Uh, starting with Elliot, what was your initiative? 16. 16. Emerson? Uh, 17. 17. Uh, Athena? Oh, come on. I just deleted everyone from the map. Oh, oh no. Oh, there we go. Shit. There it goes. It's back. It's back. It's back. Just now I gotta re put everyone back in the combat tracker. That's annoying. I hit the wrong button. Let's try this again. There we go. There we go. 17, 16, 7. Okay. Away. 7. Uh, Sagan? There is balance in the force. Uh, natural 20 for 23. <laughs> <laughs> there is balance to the force. Uh, Axe, you got a negative, you got a one with your bonus? What's your bonus? I got a three. A three. Awesome. Wait, what's your initiative bonus? My initiative is a plus two when I roll the one. Oh. oh, wait, I didn't add my initiative. Hang on, I totally forgot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you figured that out. Uh, Jules? Listen, that's the only way. 20 total. 20 total. Uh, so that might change his mind from a 7 to a 10. Cool. Okay. Not much better, but, you know. Hey, you could bump you up a position or two. Yeah. All right. Uh, in that case... Um, Elliot rolls in the smoke bomb and eyes begin to turn as they hear the hissing sound as it begins to fill up part of the area. Sagan, you're up first in your surprise round. What are you doing? Um, I'm um, moving in, uh, like bum rushing in. Okay. Uh, gonna go in... Uh, there. Okay. Uh, right up to this guy. Now. Uh, so that would have been your movement, um, which would be your surprise round. Uh, yeah. Okay. And um, Sagan is holding his action. Well, you, it would be you get one. Oh, okay. But you're next to your round, yeah. So yeah, um, get... so yeah, mo um, that's my movement to get in. Uh, kind of feel for the first person. Uh, feel that first person, and then just uh, stand fast. Mm -hmm. This is basically the smoke is still filling the area, so you guys can see for now as you guys are bum rushing in. Okay. Super quick glance. Do, uh, yep. the, the person in front of me. Uh, they're armed and patrolling, yes? They are armed and patrolling. They are dressed like servers, but you can definitely see, I believe it's Blade at their side. Okay, so I'm not uh, potentially ending a civilian. Cool. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but yep, yeah, getting right up on that. <clears throat> and that's my turn. Okay. Next up is Jules. All right. Uh, Jules is going to take uh, 10 feet and step into the door and take a very quick look around. Um, what kind of ceiling style? Is it just like flat roof, like a drop roof, or does it have rafters? No, it does. It has like, um, it's not super high of a roof. It's more like your average cafe. Um, it's got like, like hanging lamps off of the drop ceiling. Okay. Um, but there's no rafters. It's not like the warehouse. Okay. Um, I'm going to, after I moved in 10 feet, I'm going to jump up and grab one of the, the nearest light and then swing to the next one behind the bar. My goal is to get uh, behind the bar where I'm assuming the, the kid and the... The the fair bolt, yeah, so I'm trying to paint that that just flashed on the screen. I have to I have to refresh it didn't flash. Uh the the blue circle and the yellow circle are the two uh, uh hostages. Okay. Yes, then, I would like to go there. Okay. Um so jump up, swing from a lamp to the next one behind there and drop down. Make an acrobatics check for me. Done. Uh 10 plus 7, 17. Yeah, easily you're able to get in between them and this guy, and you notice that what he's currently doing is cutting a hole in the floor. And I say that out loud as I stand in front of him, between him and the furball. That's it. Okay. First surprise. <laughs> Uh, that brings us to Emerson. What are you doing? Good Welcome to combat. combat. Yeah, thanks. Uh, do you need to put your mic down? Yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> Just so you know, looking at the map, you see how there's like a grid on it? Um, yeah. Each grid, if I remember correctly, is like five feet, right? Typically? That's yes, how that five goes. feet. So you have a move oh. range. Your walking speed, yeah. whatever that is, that's how far you can move at once. Like in one turn. It is, um, if you're looking at your character sheet, uh -huh. like up by where you have your hit points, to the left of the hit points yeah. is inspiration, and then walking speed. Ah, okay. Cool. Yeah. That's how far you can move. And you said each of these lines is five? Yes. Each box. Each box is. I'm at a one. And if you haven't already, Mitch, we can switch to the battle music. I already have. Cue. Uh, I don't know. Um, do I... You can just bust oh, it, like bust be. open the door and use your weapon, or you yeah. can charge in. You get one thing. So you can either move, you can try and hit somebody, you can use an action, or you can use a bonus action. So if you have no, like no, no. a ranged weapon of any kind, if you have like a bow, uh, you use that to hit somebody when uh, as the door opens. If you don't, you can just run in and draw your longsword and be ready to hit. Yeah. Um, or you can like find a corner, duck around, and hide so that you get the advantage later. I was gonna, one of the thoughts that I had had was uh, like trying to just rush in and get to the cover of smoke without being noticed. Okay. So just to be closer, but still not just like obvious. Okay. Um, so you would not be able to use a hide check on this if you're also okay. moving. But if you wanted, if I can move your character, you have enough movement to 5, 10, and then jump over here. So it becomes like 15 and then climb that wall and kind of duck under it. 
so that you are hidden back under that that like half railing. Okay. Is that is that what you want to do or? Um. You can't my... stealth. Do what? You cannot just act. You just can't actively roll stealth right for this. Oh, okay. Um, I was gonna say my. I had either thought that like. Get to the smoke cover, or attack somebody, but I feel like he's just like a little too far. I, I wasn't sure about that. Uh, you could go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. What's your movement speed? Uh, 30. 30? You actually would have had enough movement to get here. So you can get up in range for that guy for the next round. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Is yeah, that what you want to do? Yeah, that, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, I do count moving across the diagonals as 5 feet. So you do not have to, like, scrabble your way around. Oh, okay. This isn't... <laughs> no clue movements. <laughs> um, yeah, that I've had that that struggle so many times I gave up on it. Uh, Elliot, you are up next. I'm just, does this little does it go inside? He doesn't go inside. This little <laughs> strangles him. Please go inside. Um You see him take a little glass bottle from his pouch and put it on the top of the gauntlet and aim it at, um, the- gosh, how far is he? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, this guy in the diagonal over here? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, so he's pretty much just gonna step about right here, load this thing up, aim it at him, and hit him with acid splash? Yeah, I also knew that that's like because that's not a that's that's barely that's like instead of moving you're just like peeking around the corner so I'll give you that one. <laughs> you haven't really gone in. You literally just went yoink through the door frame. <laughs> I rolled to see if he went in and I got a one. So oh yeah, it's really yeah. not. Apparently no. He no go inside. Um, At auto trader, you could. I have to roll for that, right? Uh, acid splash? Is it a yes. hit? Okay, then yes. Yes, I think so. Wh which one are you hitting? Um, the one diagonal from me? By the table, that one. Oh, that one. The oh. one that flashed. Um, 13. What do I add? Uh, Should be your uh, spellcasting uh, modifier. There it is. Uh, my modifier is plus Oh, thank god. Uh, 17? 17 hits. Nice. Heck yeah. Yeah. Uh, this Which this, is... this guy's about to get a little bit burny. Just a little bit. One of the cool things about this little book is it actually has a calculator on it. You can't really see. Heck yeah. I can just do all my damage right here. Nice. Mm -hmm. My old character uh, grinders two. used to say I'm the same thing. Nine. Nine points of damage. Nine points of acid. Ouch. Nine points of acid. Oh yeah. So you just peek your head in, put a screw on the thing, and just shoot out a spray of acid that she was not expecting, and it just catches her across the face and shoulder, and she just ah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. You, hit her. you hear her very quietly say sorry. <laughs> uh, after, after Elliot, we have Athena. Cool. Athena um, is actually going to do what Emerson almost did, um, which was the um, kind of barrel roll over whatever this fucking table is and kind of hide up here behind the railing, um, which is 5, 10, 15, 20 feet, I think, looks like. Um, just kind of hide, survey, think of an think of an option of attack. That's okay. it. That's all. That's all oh. she wrote, folks. Last up, we have Axe. Yeah. So I need to get a little bit inside. I'm still trying to. I'm still trying to discuss out like who who is enemy on board, and and so far it looks like if they don't have their their uh, HP directly below them, they're 
not part of the party, is that right? If you do right, not... they're not part of the party. Okay. However, the two if... direct the one directly above me and the one directly below me are friends. No, the one directly okay. above you is not a friend. The two directly oh, below I... you are not are very Oh, I misunderstood what you said. Okay. Yeah. So I, yeah, I unfortunately that here, I'll switch this one to red aura because yeah. that did get confusing. Thank you. Yeah. If yeah. That Sorry, I, I, I promise like I was I was I'm able to match up most of us, but then the ones that like have different kind of looks, I wasn't able to and, and that was just growing me. That's that's a me thing. Um okay. So what I'm gonna do awesome. is I'm gonna go let's see, five, ten, fifteen. All right, the one that just went to red, Jules, is an yeah. enemy. Okay, thank you. Um, I so I, I only have a movement speed of thirty, and I'm not getting that close to melee. Sorry, Emerson, you can handle that. <laughs> but I will try to help you. <laughs> well, since you only moved five feet, just like um, Elliot did, you that's not counting as a move. I was gonna say, I technically moved 15. Uh, especially because I went inside, because I, I was, sorry, I was over here, but I went in here, and that's technically, I think, 15 you, feet. You were here, right? I was here. Gotcha. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were one over. <laughs> Try to be fair. <laughs> um, My bad. I thought you were on the, the diagonal. Thing. Okay, and then the person with the blue aura in between these two tables here, that's a bad person or a good person? Between the two tables, that is a bad yeah. Good. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> so if you if you move 15 feet though, then the 15 feet is your because we're doing at movement mm -hmm. action or bonus action. You're not gonna get two. You get one. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So Fair. if you want to move your full movement, you can, just so that you don't have to worry about it later, or you can just stay where you are. Uh sorry, let me recount. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I don't want to get right on top of... Um, I, I don't want to get right on top of Athena. So I think... You can hang out with me. It's fine, boo. You good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think just for... Uh, just for clarity's sake, because I can still see a couple of bad guys from here, and then I can continue moving forward into the room if I want to. If I'm you want to. Just moving and sitting here and just kind of scoping it out and i think i've got some stuff planned okay um, i've got a bunch of like controllery buff spells not so much like pure damage also uh if i can ask how many of these fucks that i can see that are enemies are wearing armor good question um... <laughs> slash do your fin tears or dex tears count as metal oh they are the evil and i love them the are really gem implants gotcha. totally fair uh, they are gem it. that have the aether weave implant which okay. is technically a metal but it's such a bizarre property that that might not work that's really good but if they are wearing armor i i'd love to know that when the next comes back around to me <laughs> i don't think he i'm just gonna let you burn the faces off of all of my <laughs> miscalculation on my part okay <laughs> okay <laughs> that is completely oh oh no bear, i thought i was talking oh okay <laughs> that would be such though, if you can do that 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 would that would be evil I, though i would i yeah. my mind literally went back <laughs> <laughs> but it is it's your world if it is a unique thing that would not register to that spell that is completely fair that's why yeah, i will I go with just armor no because problem. Because of the particular properties of this ore, it is not something heat metal is going to work on. Yeah, it's funky, it's unique, completely valued. Mm -hmm. so, valid and valuable. So to ex expand upon that sp particular statement, would that also expound. include... Expound. <laughs> thank you. Expound. expound upon that idea. Um, would that also include anything that is aether weave, that has aether weave in it? Would that negate the um, heat metal? Because I have metallic implants, but you they are infused with aether weave. They are infused with aether weave, but the base is still metallic. Okay, so that can be heated. Yes. If okay, it's, thank you. The fentairs are specifically a a, um, a gem that is infused, <laughs> that is has been marked and inlaid. Um, if you have stuff that you that is specified as something metal, 
then it's gonna work on it. Um, Duck's tears are also tend to be a gem or like something that's enchant, like a porcelain or something enchanted. Um, so it won't work on those. But if you said they are metal, they yeah, are. Yeah, I have metallic, crystal, crystalline metallic arms and tail yeah. and arms and legs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> metal is your enemy. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that. Oh, okay. We need to talk later. We're going to need to talk later. <laughs> <laughs> Evil DM noises. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah. All right, then. So, now that that's all done, um, top of the round, Sagan, you are first. This motherfucker in front of me is about to have a bad day. Um, <laughs> oh, and to answer your question, because I never did, uh, Axe, I'm so sorry. Uh, any of the servers walking around are wearing like everyday clothes. Um, the only one who's wearing like an armor is the guy right next to Jules that has the red ring around him. Find a bar. Yep. And that is actually leather armor. Also, I'm not gonna lie, these different colored circles are kind of a nightmare for me. Oh, I can, if you want, <laughs> okay, in the future, let me know and I will set them as one He's to make it easy. Colorblind. You Tell me the type uh, of color mild, blind mild, Mildly, but what, what did you say? I said in the future, um, going forward, I can adjust for that. Just let me know what type of colorblind you are and I can pick a color that you can see. Okay. Yeah. I I actually played with someone who has that issue and <laughs> like super colorblind. You wouldn't believe what we had to do to make sure that he could see everybody's tokens. <laughs> oh dear. No, I'm not. I'm not super colorblind. But if they're close enough, I have issues. Gotcha. I I, I will take that into account. Okay. All right. He's Thank colorblind you. enough that he can't tell ham and turkey apart, but otherwise he's fine. <laughs> Gotcha. Red green. <laughs> How did you know? Sagan. Uh, wreck yeah. someone's day. <laughs> um, first of all, I would like to rage. Yes. Fucking <laughs> yes. Do it. Do it. Uh as Sagan rages, you guys kind of see like you see his muscles bulk out even more you see like the angry form of sagan like the, his leathers are stretching and as this happens you see his faint hair glow in an opalescent light and it projects this woven headdress and you swear you like in the back of your mind but it sounds sourceless you hear a wolf howl. What are you doing? Just not... And I'm attacking this motherfucker in front of me twice. Yes, you are. So, um, I'm not gonna do re reckless attack just yet. I'm gonna, we'll see how this goes. So first attack. Oh, don't fall off. Oh, that's a 17 on the die. That hits. <laughs> oh, I, I was gonna say 17 plus 8 I think that hits <laughs> maybe if it doesn't I'm a little concerned because we're level 5 <laughs> I was gonna say level 5 uh, with... yeah, five. level 5 <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die I'm gonna die um, <laughs> Kirby died in this world and so d12 oh wait no do do I have that feet? Do I have that feet? Not yet. Okay. That's absolutely fine. Um, unfortunately, that's only seven points of uh, slashing damage. Uh, no, nine points. Sorry. Okay. And... Um, uh, nine points of slashing damage as he um, swings this behemoth of an axe um, like right at the uh, 
like lower part of his abdomen. It cuts in fairly deep. And for the second attack. <laughs> that was almost an up to 20. Uh, not 18 on the die. Oh, uh, yeah, that's going to hit. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> Don't pause, you know the answer. <laughs> that's max damage. <laughs> <laughs> that's, um... Hold on. Uh... That's 19 points of slashing damage. Yes! Crack! Spin it around. Crack! <laughs> just done. <laughs> it's like my <laughs> way it enters the head and the body just goes... <laughs> just... Yeah, he's just done. As the smoke begins to really fill the room and his body just disappears beneath it. <laughs> oh boy. Um, so it's bonus action, action, movement, just before the smoke, um, clears. Uh, who can you see? Uh, he's going to move on to. There, 30 feet of movement. Yeah. And that's my turn. He did. <laughs> <laughs> Just... Where's Gal? Alright. Uh, next up, we have... Number two. Sky. Um, seeing the smoke fill in the room and you guys come charging in, he just goes shit and pulls out a um, hand crossbow and is going to aim it 20 foot radius on that smoke. Um, circle. Um, I need a circle. Where's my fucking me 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 me? Is this one? Me me me. Roll. Sorry. Here we go. Circle. Uh, red green. So. Uh, is yes, thank you. That's fifteen. But that's is that twenty? Um, that's like a ten foot radius. That's twenty foot diameter. But thank you, thank you. Uh, That's not twenty foot radius. And then it would have been like here, so. Settling here. Thank you! There we yeah. go. Nice. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Perfect. That tells me what they don't see. So he's going to. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And his radius is it's all he can see around this cloud. <clears throat> There's only one that he can see around this cloud who just peeked the head in. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> not the child. Each the head in, shot with the the thing, and went yes. <laughs> All he can see around the smoke is this little bunny, and he's gonna try and shoot the bunny with the hand crossbow. Oh, no. oh it's that Last of Us clip. That's the cutest fucking thing I ever saw. <laughs> <laughs> 
I Fun. swear, though. I swear. Does a 15 hit you? Uh... I hit that. I mean, that's horrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. It oh, does? Oh no. Wait, hold on. Yeah, it does. Oh no. You take <laughs> seven points of piercing damage as the hand crossbow bolt just catches you in the arm as you go to celebrate. <laughs> just tiny <laughs> scrub. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And he then ducks underneath the um, uh, uh, wall there and is not very well hidden. <laughs> that was Noted. a two. All right, next up we have Jules. All right. So what I would like to do is smoothly grab my, my hoop up off of my uh, torso click it open as I'm bringing it down over the, the man in front of me, mm -hmm. and then rip it out from under him, tripping him. Okay. Uh, make it make an attack, a trip attack, which would just be cool. an attack. Uh, 19 on the die is my uh -huh. attack modifier. Uh, actions, 7. Oh, okay, yeah, that's like a 26 to hit. Oh yeah, you hit. And All that's right. high enough that it's just gonna... He's gonna fall. <laughs> he's just he's just gonna trip. Uh, now that he is, on, yeah. yeah. Now that he is on the ground, uh, I believe my melee attacks are at advantage. Correct. He is prone. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna continue that hoop out and then jab it into his neck. Okay. As my my second attack. Uh, Fourteen plus seven is twenty one to hit. That's gonna hit. Okay, and that is a d six plus four. Ooh, max damage. Ten points of damage right on his throat. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to use my buff. Uh, fuck it, I'll use a key point. Two extra attacks. Okay. Larry, oh, you know what? I did not roll that second. Okay, no, it was not a crit. Uh, now, roll. not a crit, but 20-something to hit. That hits? Uh, eight points of damage. And then my last hit. These are all just like, um, yeah, well, no, I can only... over again. <laughs> yeah, well, the first one was a throat punch. The second one have to be unarmed. They can't use my mope weapon. So, yeah. Could you I'm probably going to turn around and just like slap, slap with my face, uh, with my tail across his face. Okay. Uh, also, <laughs> not a crit, but 20 something. That hits. Ooh. Uh, and then five points of damage on that last one. You trip this motherfucker with the hula hoop. That has to be embarrassment damage on top of that, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Was he was down cutting into the tile ground when you guys came in and he peeked his head up. You swung down from the light in front of him. Hi, bitch whack and he goes down and then you punch him in the throat and slap him with your tail twice and he's not looking good and he's choking at the throat humiliation uh -huh. damage time three yeah. uh, you know what behind you is just like <laughs> to that point i will use my 40 feet of movement to teabag him <laughs> It's super effective. That's it. He doesn't have a degradation cane. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no. Oh. No. Oh. Right. I think that requires a wisdom. I think that requires a wisdom saving throw. He's <laughs> <laughs> just like, why? Insult to injury. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> Next up is this person um, who is going to duck behind that table. What is your passive perception, Sagan? 
Uh, 15. I don't see that. Um... No. Uh, doesn't hide quite successfully enough. Um, but is going to pull out the crossbow and aim it at you. Please stay on my little book. Thank you. Um, 13. Nope. This is completely... Just, the uh, Sega just kind of ducks out of the way. Mm-hmm. Um, and that is all they can do because they tried to hide and it failed. Emerson, you are up. Fuck him up. <laughs> and since you are red, green, colorblind, the character in front of you, yeah, I'm going to switch it to a crisper yellow. How's that? That's good. Yeah. Cool. I mean... I mean, I could see the one in front of me anyway, but, <laughs> but anyway. I would say which ones can't you see, but that would not. <laughs> you sure you want to go that far? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I guess I would say he probably was just like putting out his long sword as he's running up to him, but um, I don't know. I don't know anything. I know nothing. I also have one brain cell. <laughs> no? <laughs> what place is it fighting for? So you already moved up to that. Yeah. Thing, so if you want, yeah. you can just use your weapon and yeah. slash out at him, or it's up to you. Yeah. As a rogue, Why not? You one attack per action. He has no much. idea what that means. Oh no. <laughs> um, that means you're gonna hit him once. Yep. Okay. Cool. The mild panic in the eyes. I know, I'm just like, I don't know what that means. Uh do you have your um uh Um so, sorry, I was just um I, I check over people's character sheets to like help them out if they're struggling. Um, you have your uh, weapons in your inventory, but you're not wielding them. So you see the little box um, next to the items in your um, inventory. You can press equip. Yep. If you click that box, you equip it. And it gives you the calculation of how much it is to hit. I got the box. So I just don't. I, where, what were you saying after that? So, um, have you clicked the? So in the inventory, you see like uh, your long sword. If you click the uh -huh. box, and then go back to your actions, it should come up. Um, as I'm going through your character sheet right now, and just clicking stuff in your equipment. So if you refresh your character sheet, you should show that like you're at. Cloak of Elven Kind is now equipped and attuned. You're good. You have you can see the stats for your long sword and your short sword. Okay. Why did I do this to myself? Why did I give myself all short range weapons? That's okay. We can we can adjust yeah. later after this. Yeah. I mean, it could e you could easily go shopping. <laughs> these guys, I'm telling you now, one of them who just got Gallagher definitely had a hand crossbow <laughs> you are a thief <laughs> he's not using it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you looting the dead well he's not using it <laughs> oh me okay so log sorted up um, I hate what do I do for that, honestly? I hate to um, hit you with more questions. I, I do. 
but I promise this is helping. I hate it too. <laughs> Are you using your long? Is Emerson using it two-handed or one-handed? Long sword, probably two. Okay. At the well, at the moment, at least. Yes. Might <laughs> might wield it a different way later. Uh, long sword is considered a versatile weapon, so you can use it either way. If you okay. use two hands, you're gonna hit with more damage, but you yeah. have fewer attacks. Um, so you roll a different dice. That is why he is asking. Yep. Okay. Well, I'd say in this instance, probably two-handed, since it's the only one I have out at the moment. Okay. Anyway. I'm making every ally blue and all the enemies yellow. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> it's very much appreciated. Uh, I love to accommodate. Because I can understand how frustrating that can be. This is an enemy. Like, I had, it had come to my mind earlier, and I was just like, I'm having kind of a little bit of trouble, but I was, but I hate to be a bother. Oh, no, 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 bother me. <laughs> bother me. This is definitely the group to be a bother because everybody wants to help. Yeah, and also, yeah, like, literally definitely. every single one of us has been where you are at some point. We have all been the beginner. We have all been the person mm -hmm. who does not know. It takes time to get kind of, like, familiarity with a new system, and that's okay. We're here to help. Mm. Like, legitimately. You get there. Is mm -hmm. I mean, um, Icarus was my damn I might tease you about it, because that's my job as a partner, but, yeah. you know. <laughs> But we're all here. We've all had various levels of like being a DM, being a new player, especially like learning 5e. Thankfully, 5e out of like all of the past has been one of the most beginner friendly. So you're mm -hmm. like in a really good place and you've got a bunch of people with a lot of good experience that are completely willing to like help you. Oh, yeah. And somebody who has a fuck ton of available stuff in D&D Beyond to make it as easy as possible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank <Yes>. you, Sarah. <laughs> um... Icarus was my dim when I first started 5v, and yeah, can confirm, I was just like, oh, what the fuck do I do? It's like, well, you roll a high number and then you decimate the entire thing I planned, I guess. I would personally plan some pretty badass, like, monster fights at some point. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Um, but if it's also yeah. any, any sort of consolation, I had no idea that you were supposed to click the thing in your inventory so you could equip it. I am also a dumbass. I didn't either. <laughs> I, see, I, I worked so much with, like, just pen and paper for so long mm -hmm. because D&D, like, had a lot of limitations because I didn't have the resources that Usera has available. So I, I actually had to go in and do the equip thing myself. I didn't know you had to do that. So, so thank we're you. all learning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I adjusted all the icons, so that should help. Thank you. Thank you. Wait. Percy, does that help you, too? Because huh? you're, you're a tiny bit. Totally. It's okay. Oh. The red and the blue weren't close enough to be a problem. <laughs> yeah. For Percy, it's more like when purples and blues are near each other, it's like, what the fuck are these? <laughs> okay. I'll make it work. I'm just like, I just made all of the save save. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. This I'm is like, fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is fine. This, this works. This is okay. <laughs> just don't, don't make things purple and blue on the same screen. <laughs> Okay, I'll know that for next time. You're okay. <laughs> um, so would you like to just try and hit it with your longsword? Yeah. yeah. All right, so Go roll a d20. Okay, cool. Get my mouse out of the way. Oh, okay. Well, then. What's that? Uh... What am I adding to it? You're at, um, under actions, you'll see the longsword button, uh -huh. and then it'll be like a plus whatever. The, the hit DC? Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's a nine total. Total? Yeah. Unfortunately, Ooh. you go to... Swing and a miss. Hit this individual 
and it just completely completely goes past them um they duck out of the way and you're not able to land a hit and you, um they kind of look over the shoulder and like fuck we're <laughs> i think they found us um did you want to do anything with your bonus attraction under that same tab it says actions and then bonus actions and it should list a couple things i think all you have is the uh, cunning action and um two weapon fighting which you do not have a second weapon drawn at the moment unpredictable at times but the open university are the experts in distance learning I'm sorry, I say that again. <laughs> it's a lot of information, I know. Yeah. Um, so, under bonus actions, yeah. there should be, it should say cunning action mm -hmm. and two weapon fighting. Two weapon fighting you cannot use right now because you only have one weapon drawn. But yeah. cunning action lets you uh, hide, dash, or disengage. Uh, disengage means you can move away without getting an attack of opportunity. It means that they cannot hit you for moving out of their range. Okay. And dash means that you can just bolt. But usually those two do mean that it uses like your full turn, so you couldn't also like sw swing again, I think, right? Say that one more time. Do I thought uh, do do dash and disengage also take like your attack turn as well, or if you are not a rogue, rogue Thank is you. what makes it a bonus action. Rogues and monks hey. have that ability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Costly for monks, but we can so do it. So if you wanted to get out of this guy's melee range, you mm -hmm. could like disengage and then use your movement to move out of the way, or you okay. can just stay up in his face. Um, would it just be like taking a step back, or basically you you okay. jump back a little bit? Yeah, that's fine. All right. So you disengage, and how yeah. far would you move? Because you still have your full movement. You can move 30 feet. I mean, I feel like I'd want to come back to him, but... Okay, just moving so away Just from like, that. just enough to not be in his personal range. All right, sounds good. Uh, next up is one of the, <laughs> the bad guys who's stuck in the smoke cloud. You hear this nasty coughing and hacking. <laughs> <laughs> what's happening what's going on <laughs> as they stumble slowly because they're gonna run into tables so i'm gonna give them half speed 5 10 15 20 25 30 and they are just on the edge of it so they're gonna cutting they're gonna use their cutting actions to keep moving 5 10 15 20 25 30 they're gonna get there and shoot their crossbow at hang on, one, two, three, four. I've got six all I got all six of you in range, so I'm gonna roll a D6. Bring it on. Bring it come on. Please, I beg come you. on. Six is one, two, three, four, five. It's Axonite, because I went through the, the order yeah. of the combat. <laughs> what's, what's, their, what's their attack roll? <laughs> um, yup, so they actually would have stopped like here. Um, Axonite, you are... You are in range. Um, they are going to try and hit you with their hand crossbow. Uh-huh. Uh, does a 13 hit you? Beat, beat, yes, it does. Oh. However, tell us your view. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. So you take... <laughs> this is so shitty. Three points of piercing damage as this bolt just, like, grazes past your, your shoulder or your cheek. And you just, like... What do you, what do you say? What's your hellish review? All right, so that grazes. He's like, oh, you gotta do better than that. I didn't even feel it. Ah. <laughs> and, and these 
uh, fiery flames just like shoot up the side of their face a little bit as the hellish rebuke attacks them psychically. They just ah, uh, they're like ow. Make me make me a deck save. Mm-hmm. Can I use my reaction to to respond to that the hellish re- rebuke? <laughs> uh, uh, you mean to say something? <laughs> well, I mean that's a free action, but give me a moment. Uh, eighteen. All right. Uh, I don't. I already used my reaction. Can't do it. Okay, so they're gonna take half of this, but I rolled thirteen damage. I got an eight and a five, so they're gonna take six fire damage, and they're just engulfed in fucking flames for a little bit. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 <laughs> it goes out and you are like, oh, you got to do better than that. And the hand that's holding the crossbow just briefly ignites in flame as she mm-hmm. shouts out and like shakes her arm out. And then, oh, asshole. <laughs> what were you say- going to say, Jules? Uh, just, just hearing that that comeback, um, Jules, not even looking up from the the fucker he's he's wailing on, uh, is just gonna say, uh, "Don't worry, sweetie, you'll be feeling it tonight." <laughs> <laughs> oh, Incredible, right. amazing, beautiful. I'm fine. <laughs> I love, in love with this. All right. Um, said perpetually horny. That would be the end of. Oh wait, sorry. Uh, this I, I cast it as second level. So oh, actually, sorry, I need to add an additional uh, D10 to that. I'm so sorry. An additional. Um, okay. Yeah, sorry. I, I thought I was rolling two D10 because that's the base for it, but I, because of my, um, it, it's a racial ability. I cast it at second level because yes. yeah. Sorry, I I just real quick. Yeah. Okay, that's another. Eight, so another four because he only takes half of it. So another four, uh, so a total of uh, oh. ten. Yeah, ten total fire damage oh. from that thing. Yeah, so that was my bad. I, I'm sorry about that. No, I, no I need to apologize. That's time. awesome. They are looking pretty <laughs> hurt. <laughs> toasty. They're looking pretty fucking hurt. Roasty, toasty princess. <laughs> Next up is the actually armored guy on the floor who just got punched, tripped, punched in the throat, slapped the tail, and teabagged. Um, <laughs> back to back, bitch. Oh, like, man. Kind of. He's having a very bad angry. Kind of yeah. angry, yeah. but also very, very fucking hurt. Um. So he kind of like backs up, or he not even backs up. He kind of like sits up, stands up, um, using half of his movement, looks around briefly, and goes, "Let's move on," um, and is going to try and hit you. Try it. <laughs> um, pulls out a. Pretty gnarly looking blade. <laughs> I'm rolling like such shit. Um, 13. I'm just gonna, not even paying attention to it, just ultra instinct out of the way. All right, gets one more attack. Could you stay? Oh my God, that's even worse. Uh, goes yep, to just... slash and you completely dodge out of the way. Um, and starts fidgeting at for something else at his hip. But that is his turn. Next up is Elliot. Elliot's a little annoyed that he got hit. <laughs> you see this little rabbit pull this arrow out, and he just he's gonna walk, what, 30 feet? So, 10, 10 15, 30, so about up to here. Still aiming for uh, the guy who's hidden behind that wall and did not hide very well. Mm-hmm. He's reloading this thing and he's casting Firebolt at him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Love. Whenever we're in combat, I always imagine everyone's like dashing and running around. Elliot just like angry speed stomps over the steps, like switching out jars and putting on a new one. And... <laughs> 
he is upset. He's like, you hurt me, and I didn't ask for that. Um, that is scary. <laughs> Non-consensual pain. How dare. Consensual pain. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. I have to roll for that. No, no, I guess I do. do, 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 do. That's plus seven. Da, 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 da. Dirty 20. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, golly gee, that's 2d10. Where are my d10s? Yep. Yay, fifth level. Can't trips level up. What? I said, yay, oh, yeah. fifth level. Yeah. Yeah. Level up at, at fifth level. Okay, here we go. Four, five, six, nine, eleven? Eleven. Eleven oh, points wait. of damage? Yes, eleven points of damage from a dirty twenty. Oh my god, my pizza! Yeah, you you yeah. launch this mini flamethrower at this guy, and he's just ah, 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 <laughs> like <clears throat> trying to put out to put himself out. Elliot's just gonna look at him dead in the eyes, just super deadpan. He's gonna take another jar and just kind of break it. He's using his reaction to cast shield on himself. Okay, perfect. <laughs> it's just, just this angry speed walking rabbit. It's just like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> that hurt. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, literally. Anything else on your on your turn? Uh, I think that's it. All right, Athena, you are up. Fuck. Um, yes, okay. you shove pizza in your mouth. You know, well, I put it away earlier because I wasn't hungry, and then I just remembered. I was like, oh shit, I have pizza in the microwave. Um, okay. I'm gonna wander to this dude, which is 25, I think. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And stab him with the dagger. Let me roll. Let me yep. move my pizza, and then roll. Where's what is the dot? It's a nine. Sorry, mine has a little dot to show whether it's a nine or a six, and I couldn't tell. Plus, hang on. Eight. I don't think I have a thing next to my dagger. Do I? Oh, plus six. So nine plus six is um fifteen. Fifteen. Does that hit? Yeah. That that hits. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So that's a one d four plus three. Hold on. Do -do 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 -do. We're switching to metal die. Uh, for four damage. Not that much, but, you know. <laughs> four damage? That's okay. Yeah. Four is better than nothing. This is true. All right. Anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Any bonus action, or? Well, I have one, but you didn't answer my question that I sent you, so I'm not oh, going to do anything for now. What did you send me? <laughs> it's okay, it's fine. Sometimes you just have to say, DM, check your messages. Mm -hmm. Um, The term <clears throat> creature applies to any humanoid or, like, beast. So as long as it's, like, a living, like, a dominate monster also includes humanoids. Dominate creature includes humanoids it just doesn't include i think undead hmm. so creature so, think creature would work they have to be willing okay that's good to know i still think i'm going to use it now but that's good to know because i have a bonus action that i'm going to tuck into my back pocket um actually i have two weapon fighting as an option i have two daggers can i throw my other dagger at the other bitch that just got engulfed in flames yeah Cool. I'm gonna do that as well. We're gonna try this again. Hang on. Oh god. Uh, twelve. It bounced out of my little thing. Sorry. Twelve plus six is eighteen. I'm bad at math. Eighteen to hit. Eighteen will hit. Cool. Let's do this again. Four damage again, because my <laughs> D4 fucking hates me. It's fine. That's all right. Yeah. It. It. It's, and, and um grazes along like where the the shoulder and the the neck meet and hits goes into the fog cloud behind <laughs> nice mm -hmm. is that the end of your turn yes yep. right. 
Next up is this guy. Uh, having been recently stabbed, is a little upset and is going to Is this the one I want? Or do I want the other one? Going to cast this range, I'm still close. Yep. Does willing creature count as me being pulling the Aladdin, do you trust me, and then saying yes? <laughs> I was thinking about that earlier. Because that's fucking funny. Sorry. Anyway. Uh, yeah, as long as they actually agree. Um, okay. Uh, he actually, hearing the time to go, goes, Shit. Retreating and disappears. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Not you specifically, but mm. bitch. Just gone. Deuces. Who disappeared? Oh, I don't want to move the fog cloud. Ah. Come on. Where are you? Why aren't you pulling up? Oh. <laughs> That's why. There we go. Uh, yeah. He just disappears completely from your sight. Oh, R.I.P. Interesting. Mm. All right. Next up is Axonite. All right. I believe. So I see that. So the person that shot me is is this yellow one here on the bench, right? Yes. Uh, they're not armored, correct? I, I think you said that they're, there's only like one person who's armored. There's only one person right? wearing armor, and it's leather. They're all basically wearing like like they work at Applebee's, but oh, they also have wonderful. weapons. <laughs> in that case, so in Applebee's in Florida. Waffle House. They all dress like they work at the Waffle House. Wisdom save because <laughs> I'm going to cast. A Do not disrespect the Waffle House like that. I'm not. I'm saying that they can handle their shit. <laughs> did, did I just hear Tasha's hideous laughter? Yes, you did. Please make me a wisdom save. You DC 15. DC is 15. Uh, yeah. Amazing. I love this. <laughs> oh, God. And what kind of save is it? Wisdom? Wisdom. And now that it's back to my turn, I will use cutting words if I need to. I did roll a 14 plus 2. In that case, again, going to use my reaction to Oh, wait, you said cutting words? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I can expend one use of Bardic Inspiration. My Bardic Inspiration die, I believe right now, is still a D6. I don't think it has escalated yet. Uh, do you, uh, I believe it's level 7. It goes to a D8. Oh, no, it's D8. It is a D8. No. It, is, no. it is a D8. Oh. Sweet. Take eight <laughs> off of your roll. <laughs> Drop down, bitch, and start laughing. Sorry, not you, actually, the person. You know what I mean? What did you say <laughs> to make this person completely fail and just fall on the ground laughing? I think he, like, he locks eyes. He's going to swipe across, like, the, the grayish area where he's got. Yeah, no, he's angry. He's he swipe off, like, kind of lick it off and like, mm. And here I thought you'd be better. You need to entertain me. And for whatever reason, this strikes her as hilarious. Oh yeah, and she, she just not stop laughing. It's that that starts laughing and doesn't know why, and it's like painful, and just drops to her knees, clutching at her chest, and cannot stop laughing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Top uh, of the round. Let's see. Oh, oh. Uh, then I'm actually sorry. I need to double check this now. I'm gonna use so that was one expenditure of my bardic inspiration die. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see who's me. You can easily see Emerson, Athena, and Sagan 
from where you are. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna, well, no, because I already, no, get the bonus action. Okay, so I've already used one of my Bardic Inspiration dies. I'm gonna go ahead and use, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use one more, and I'm going to give a Bardic Inspiration die over to, uh, over to Sagan, because it looks like he's about to, like, start plowing into some other people, like, at a distance. And then I think that, uh, sorry, and then I'm gonna move... 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. I'm going to move over here. Uh, just so I can be a little closer, but also I can see a few more people um, and try to help a bit more that way. Yeah, right, sounds good. <laughs> uh, if that, if, if that's the end of your turn. Sagan, you are up next. I've got something fun planned. <clears throat> I love when I hear that. Um... <laughs> Seeing the person who tr who tried to shoot at me, I'm just gonna. Combat is not the time to get an ad. Spotify, thank you very much. Um, seeing. Trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Fuck off. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> uh, off, yes, okay, bitch. When is the last time you've looked into new suppliers for your electric company? Shut up. <laughs> Why would you uh, like to save $30 a month on your energy bill? Sagan is going to run menacingly to the person who's trying to shoot him. But as he, like, runs, he's going to throw a hand axe at them as their first attack. Okay. And whether it hits or not, the second attack is coming in with a basically a charging slice at them with the great axe. All right, so it's the one that's that's to your lower left on the yeah. map? Yeah, near the big right. table in the middle. Roll the throw. So, for the hand axe... Uh, 13? Uh, 13 hits. Ooh, okay. Um, that is... Eight points of uh, eight points of slashing damage. Okay. And for mm. the um, great axe, I am going to use reckless attack. Okay. Reckless. That don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a natural twenty. Roll your damage. Hold on. Let me check something real quick. Do I do I do I have it at this level? I don't think I do. No, I don't think I do. No, I don't. Okay. Okay. Roll die, double damage on die, then add modifier. Mm -hmm. Damn, that sucks. Re roll ones and okay. twos. That's a two. Mm-hmm. That's at 11 on the die. <laughs> so, so 22 plus. 22 plus. That's 29 points of slashing damage total. Tell me how you kill him. <laughs> Hand axe. Just gets him like in the chest. And it's that moment of it like they're alive, but they're fucking hurt. And the last thing they see is Sagan's axe just come into their neck and in the last moments of consciousness they all they see is the room spinning and the and the headless body falling in front of their head. Amazing. I'm warning all of you now, I am graphic and I am detailed. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, how awful. Alright, this one Arky. is a dead. Okay. Good. Is that the end of your turn? Um. Just to think about it. Oh, like the finger cracks that are needed for this. <laughs> Is going to turn towards the big bastard behind the bar. 
-hmm. And he's going to miss his step right behind, right by him. Um, yeah. And that's yep. my and that's my bonus action. Like Jules, all you you see Sagan, and then you just see. Mm -hmm. Nightcrawler. Yep. yep, pretty much. But um, mm -hmm. the energy and smoke is um, very copper colored. Ooh. And just goes, hello, Jules. <laughs> you have no fun. No, actually. Mm. <laughs> it's just in between the two of you. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I was I was gonna say yes, but no leads it to my next turn. <laughs> uh, next up is the guy who shot the rabbit and then got cooked by the rabbit, <laughs> who is watching the the angry walk <laughs> around the corner. <laughs> Who also saw Watching the friend got absolutely... His friend get decapitated, hears the call for retreat, and goes, Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! <laughs> and just turns around and bolts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Also, uh, can I make a point of what is it? Would it be a free action to kind of get my hand axe back? Or is that a... I'll let, yeah, I'll allow it. All right. Thank you. Oh, that's, that's mine. The <laughs> he ends up here because double dash. Oof. Oh, okay. Actually, action dash throw bonus action. Bye. Uh, oh, he gone. <laughs> uh, damn it. I was gonna. Ah, oh, don't. Never mind. Gosh darn it. Is at that window. Next up is Jules. <laughs> okay, ju just a second. I have to redo my calculations now. Uh, what does it do? Fuck, I hope I can get there. You can try. Y'all picked the right dice for the DM to have because they fucked me. <laughs> <laughs> they do great for you. <laughs> okay, I, I can still try to do it. Okay, um, leaning into what happened at the end of Sagan's turn, I'm going to take the fucker uh, that's in front of me, mm -hmm. both hands by the face, and just say, you make for such a disappointing evening. Kiss him, and then bash him in the head with my with my horns. Oh! Roll. You have advantage no. because he's flanked. Oh I don't my need god. it. Oh, oh my god. Oh no! Say, what's your minimum damage? Uh... Minimum is, I think, five. That'd be two plus whatever your modifier is. Right. Well, no, it would be four. Six. Because ones and twos get re rolled. That's so true. it would be like oh. six plus your modifier. Then that'd be ten. Ten, ten. minimum. He had nine hit points left. How do you want to do this? Oh. <laughs> I just, just bash his head in and, uh, and, and drop him. And then I'm going to cartwheel over the bar. Um, as my foot lands on the stool there, I'm going to step of the wind, push off, and just bolt all the way up here with my 80 feet of movement. And I think that was, whoops, I did not want to move it. I wanted to ruler. I just wanted to get within 30 feet. Okay, I need to step up. And then I get a. Uh, my arm starts to light up again and split, and I unleash a, a radiant sunbolt right at the guy's ass is running. <laughs> yeah. Well, shit. And that had uh, light. Mm. Right? That was nice. Uh, 19 plus 7 is 26 to hit. That hits. And uh, where's my dice? The and disdain on Sarah's face. <laughs> seven <laughs> points know. of radiant damage. Right How up much? his butt. How much? Seven points of radiant damage. Right up butt. <laughs> up the butt. And I'm, you know what? Just for flavor, I'm going to say, get back here. And it's seven? Yes. I don't know why I needed to hear that again to to process, but I did. <laughs> Anything else? 
Uh, no, I believe that is all I can do. Oh, I do need to mark down my other key point. All right. But yes, that's me. Uh, Emerson, you are up. Hmm. The guy you hit disappeared <laughs> in front of you. They seem to be scrambling now. Hold on. So this guy at the edge of the cloud is the one that was in the middle of it earlier, right? The, yes. Uh, toward the right side of the cloud? Uh, yes, okay. yeah. That one's the one who was in it and fumbled their way out. And they're, they, so you said, their you said the guy that was in front of me literally just disappeared? Yeah, so the, the one person who was in front of you who who saw it was going badly after getting stabbed just disappeared from view. I was going to say, I think that happened while I was gone. So oh, sorry. That's yeah. probably why I don't remember it. Mm -hmm. Disappeared completely from view. Um, you do see there is one more person in front of you. There's another person who's bolted to the other side of the building. He's trying to jump out a window. Um. Uh, I think Jules has him pretty well taken care of. <laughs> Come here. Get over here. I don't know if I can get that far anyway, can I? To the one at the window? You couldn't get over there now. No. I was gonna say, um, in that case, I guess move up to this this guy over the bench there. Mm -hmm, you can get up to them. Yeah. This is the story of that stormy night you held your child. Don't know if I want to go for the long sword again, or maybe pull out the other sword too, if it'll give me a higher chance. You, you can two-weapon fight with a long sword and a short sword, right, peeps? Yes, you can. Yeah. I thought so. Yeah. Because long, long sword is versatile, so yeah. Exactly. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you can do two-weapon fighting where you can try to hit with a long sword and then try to hit with a short sword for your bonus action. Sorry space out for a second no it's okay um you're gonna if you want to now. attack with your long sword you're going to oh, roll yeah. a d20 and then add your hip hit plus please be better it's what uh 16 16 hits nice sweet all right so next to where it says hit dice, it'll say um, like it'll say like one d eight or one d six or whatever plus whatever. One d eight plus one. All right, so you're gonna roll a d eight. Those look like the big diamonds. Yeah. Like Should that. be fun. Eight. <laughs> eight. Whoa. So nine points of slashing damage from your long Sweet. sword. Um. Oh, she's looking real hurt. Oh. She's looking real, real, real hurt. Woo. You want to try and slash out with your so your short sword with your bonus attack? Yeah. Do All it. Right. And Come again, on. roll a d20. And this time you're going to add your uh, um, dexterity bonus. Yep. Ooh. So it's not the, the, one up to the short sword. You're just going to add what your dex plus is. It is your offhand weapon. Okay, so that you so add the one up at the top. Uh, yeah, the, uh, where it says dexterity plus, I think yours is plus six. Yep, so whatever you roll on the die, plus, plus six. For no, that wouldn't be plus six. It would be plus three. Plus six would be if it was a save. Yeah, so the one up at the top is plus three. Yes, all right, so plus three. Okay. So. Ooh, but the twenty-two total. Twenty-two Ooh. definitely hits. Roll that damage. So whatever is next to your short sword, which I think is a d six. Yeah. Five. Five is that with your added? That's next to the, uh, the like the. 
next to the short sword down there or the next to, so next to the short sword yeah okay it was a uh, plus three okay so five plus three eight points of eight. damage how do you want to kill her yeah uh, first kill buddy <laughs> Woo! Or or you how you want to do this you're feeling you know nice you don't have to <laughs> uh, everyone else has been maybe murderous. once i get more comfortable with the whole thing <laughs> I'm gonna work my way into it. The end. <laughs> Do you want to describe oh. your killing blow? Or? Oh, no, I, I, said, <laughs> I was like, maybe once I get more used to just okay. everything. No, no, totally good, totally good. That's why I said I poked her and she fell unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, um, Elliot, the guy you just hit with a firebolt, has bolted from you. <laughs> what would you like to do? I'm gonna. S he's still angry. He still wants to go <laughs> after him. So he's going to pretty much hop off, like hop over the stairs in uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. So I think that would, yeah, about up to there. Cool, cool, cool. Yeets him to about here. And now what I need to know. I need to, give me the ruler. I need to know how far away you are. Oh, I can! You <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> I am so Let scared. <laughs> he's, he's, he's just like, you see him unscrewing the old one and putting another fireball <laughs> charge on his gauntlet he's he's going for it it's 120 feet he's gonna try to hit him with another fireball okay yeah. yes hey, Angie, hey, you, you could like, hit him without even moving he turns around stomps down the stairs <laughs> no he just hops over he's like no <laughs> <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, that is not bad at all and it's Delightful. What is math? 19. <laughs> 19 definitely hits. <laughs> I don't know math. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. How do you want to do this? <laughs> yes! <laughs> he, he, he's it's not be cussing. Nice. He's not <laughs> cussing, but he's like this blasted idiot and just like putting another charge on and you see him hop over the stairs and just aim and fire <laughs> he wants to watch this man go up in flames oh, baby. <laughs> he's about to gun. bust through the how, window with how do you want to do this tail, and then gets hit in the back and you watch the flames lick up his back and he screams out and just <laughs> falls to the ground you hear Elliot very quietly while petting Albert just say, you almost hit my pet. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you almost hit my pet. No. <laughs> no. Not allowed. Love. Not anymore. Um, yeah, Nothing that more. effectively takes us out of combat. No. No. We can switch back to our regular music. Oh. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. Excuse me. Um, how do you want to do this? It's going to be like the tagline for this campaign, I feel like. Oh, I'm absolutely. I, I, I would hope 100% so. take that from Matt Mercer. I admit it. I love it so much. Like, if if you want a way to get your party just energized in a di on yeah. a dime, mm -hmm. it's that phrase. Yes. I always use that, or I say, how do you, how do you want to kill my monster? <laughs> or how do you kill my monster? I use those two. Mm. Yeah. Wow. If Jules sees yeah. everyone down, they're gonna head back to uh, the big fucker that was cutting a hole in the floor, and loot them and see why they were cutting the hole in the floor. Roll an investigation check. Uh, is anyone else doing anything? Um, Elliot. Oh, it's eight. looting the one they burned. <laughs> <laughs> You're just stomping across the whole restaurant. <laughs> He's so angry. Twenty-six. 26? Okay. Uh, 
uh, Ellie, <laughs> as you're, you are? <laughs> yes, he's, he certainly is looting this guy, let's say. That is a natural 20. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, mad. Rage investigation. He's so mad. Bunny. <laughs> that is an angry, angry bunny. Um. Oh wait. Um, do do you do the foot the angry foot stomp? Yes, he does. That is canon. Yes. Stop, he does stop stomping. <laughs> do yes. Don't stomp at me. Don't stomp at me. <laughs> uh, also, uh, because we're dealing with you guys said we know that uh, from talking that this is a Cromwell, right? So this is a what? Okay. A, a Cromwell. Something from the Cromwell family, is that right? The person who is, um, the woman who is tied on the floor, yes, is a Cromwell. Yeah. He's going to take a quick moment and, like, just before stepping out, like, into full visibility, because he can't remember, he doesn't actually know if she's unconscious. He's going to take a quick moment to cast his guy's self and all of the purple bits on his person, uh, including his eyes, a fade to, like, a kind of a grayish black that kind of matches the rest of like his horns and stuff so just as an fyi okay all right uh, absolutely um so totally ignoring the fair bulb child and unconscious woman on the ground jules just starts digging at the dead body <laughs> in front of him i got the kid sagan uh, is actually gonna look uh uh, you see his demeanor like change back into the the himbo that he is. Um, oh no, he's full on himbo. He's full on himbo. <laughs> um, and he's gonna check on the kid and just see yeah. if he can stabilize uh, the lady. The lady is actually stabilized completely. Um, you or at least wake her up. Uh, make a medicine check, uh, and I'll go and Jules. Uh, you first off, you find that the thing that he was grabbing on on his waist is a pepper box. Really? As in the gun? As in the gun. Yeah. <laughs> I love how Elliot's just modernized like modernized D and D world. Guns exist. Elliot wants it. <laughs> Give me. Okay. okay. We have a really excited rabbit in the corner, and I am afraid. <laughs> <laughs> you should be. <laughs> like. <laughs> The inner, the inner <laughs> you also find a case of about 25 shells for the the um pepper box cool uh a pretty gnarly looking um uh dagger that he attempted to stab you with that did not work he's wearing very basic leather armors basically think of like a freedom fighter's swat vest you know? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, like like the people in the woods. <laughs> so you're like, yeah. okay. Fucking <laughs> okay, white people. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he's got that. Um, he's got a, a coin purse that has about 25 gold in it. Cool. Um, and he would have a sending stone. Um, what else is oh and you do find a weirdly in one of his pockets a uh, small shiny piece of electrum really mm -hmm. okay um the rabbit who ran over to the body that is charred uh, finds a hand crossbow a short sword um, you also find, because you rolled a natural 20, um, in a secret hidden, you find the phone too, uh, you find a secret hidden pocket, um, that has, like, a little scrolled piece of paper in it. Okay. Um, do you know Thieves Can't? Um, no, oh, the language, right? Yeah, actually, yeah, uh, no, it would not be Thieves Can. Do you, what languages do you speak? Common and Sylvan. You do not know this language. Hmm. 
because it's actually these can't written in a specific language, so it's weird. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you would have to know like both. <laughs> um. um. But you find a little scroll, tiny piece of paper that's like in a in a like a seam of the, the pants. Okay. Um. Important enough to keep for sure. Um, as for while Elliot's figuring out what Elliot's figuring out, uh, Sagan, you went over, you and Axe went over towards the two individuals on the ground. Um, medicine check was 18, by the way. 18 for a medicine check? It seems more like she's been drugged. Mm. Okay. The kid's nursing a, a whack to the the noggin, but it's nothing like super deep. It's not concussion. It's <clears> just like a little bit dazed. A little, a little bit dazed. Got a headache. Um, kind, he kind of like sits the boy up, yeah, the fur fur bog up, so they're like level, so they can get the equally equilibrium back. And kind of just looks at him. Nothing serious. You're just gonna have a, a wee headache for about a couple of days. I'm assuming you unbound and ungagged them, both of you. <laughs> oh yeah. Because <laughs> okay. otherwise he's just sitting there like, uh huh. <laughs> yeah, like kind of like unbinds him, just kind of helps sit him up. You're gonna have a bit of a bump on your head for uh, a couple of days, and you're gonna have a, a soaring headache in the morning. But okay. otherwise, otherwise you're fine. Okay. Um, is Lady Cromwell okay? And she's probably. Probably gonna need a lot of water over the next day. It looks like something's in her system. I, I don't have the ability to like remove that, but it doesn't look like she's hurt. Just drugs. So. Um, I, I think I heard. And if uh, uh, who's got? What are your passive perceptions? The three of you who are over there. Seventeen. Uh, Eighteen. Fifteen. Axe, you can hear um some light banging from the room behind. <laughs> So, uh, like, you're behind the counter where this is happening? Like, there's, like, a whole-ass kitchen? <laughs> just, like, kind of follows it to a door, like, open slash unlock. It's Locks unlocked. Maybe. You open it, and that's where the actual staff is. <laughs> Hello. We freed your establishment. Would you like to come out? <laughs> uh, you have to, like, go through and untie them all. But you're yes. able to do so. Yeah, no, he'll untie or, like, just fucking slice it off. He, he doesn't care. Like, whatever he needs to do to get them out. He... Which, if anybody wants to roll, like, insider perception for him, feel free. Because there's there's a distinct difference in how he's treating everybody else versus that lady. <laughs> <laughs> but it's only if anybody yeah, actually, actually has, like, ready. the wherewithal to give okay. a shit, which I get that not everybody might but, want to, and that's completely I mean. Different. Athena is only, like, just now walking up to the bar with everybody else, so... I don't know. I just wanted to offer Jules, at, that, but... Jules as a criminal is, like, constantly on the eye out and reading everybody, so if you want to take my passive perception of 17 oh, and give yeah. me something, you for sure. then you if can, not... otherwise that's fine. I got natural 20. A lot of effort to hide. I got natural 20 on insight. He is definitively... He's one, keeping his distance from that lady as much as possible but also treating all of the other people that aren't that lady much better like he's not being mean he's just sort of like you're fine you'll get water later whatever <laughs> <laughs> he's just, like, oh, almost indifferent good and then has given way more of a shit about everybody else including the fear bolt than he has her no indicators of why, it's just a very, and it doesn't even seem like he's aware that he's doing it, but he definitely is, as well as the small difference of all of the purple from his person is now gone. So, all right. All right. Mm -hmm. um, the, you're able to lead the uh, restaurant staff out of basically the walk-in. <laughs> so they're a bit cold. <laughs> oh. Um, have you ever stood in a walk-in for longer than five minutes? It sucks. No. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so fun. <laughs> no. Yep. At least it was the walk-in fridge, not the freezer. 
You stay in. This shit's I've naked. Forty. I've, I've, I've had. To, I've had tongue. to be in there for twenty plus minutes too. Uh, so, uh, so all of my so man winter joke winter jackets that they keep so when they have to do freezer pull <laughs> that just stays at the restaurant. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No. Freezer pull sucks. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. Very um, much so. At, at one job yeah. there was a like community winter jacket for when we had to do stock in the walk in freezer. Mm -hmm. With mm -hmm. very, very heavy duty thermal gloves. Yep. Because yeah, that, that, that shit's neg ne ne negative have. 20 degrees. Always. I'm oh, Celsius. yours was only I negative 20? Ours was negative Celsius. 40. Uh, Celsius. Celsius. Oh, ours Celsius. wasn't that ne cold. Negative 40 and negative... Uh, or negative 40 is the same in both temperatures. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad I've never had to work in food service, and I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Yeah. How have you made it this far without doing so? <laughs> Tell me your secret. Customer service with other focuses not in food yeah, yeah. <laughs> they didn't the escape the retail life just food service. service just food service <laughs> well you know was... food service is its own help uh, session stand at the park <laughs> but that was not with a freezer at all <laughs> a little, <laughs> little better well, honestly, i made yeah. like decent money for the time anyway <laughs> anyway um anyway so, as no, he, he's giving that lady a wide berth <laughs> gotcha um, as the restaurant staff are able to come out of their their hole, <laughs> shivering, looking around, a little bit banged up, but not bad. Um, the the kid is now like trying to like shake <laughs> Lady Cromwell awake, and she's a little bit more groggy. Um, Axe, make a perception check real quick. Okay. Sorry, it's 16 plus 24. 24? Uh, her eyes are actually brown, not purple. Still. <laughs> I'm just saying, Still. but you, you get the sense that this might be a little bit more distance of a... Of a... That's fine, Still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fine. No. Over there, lady. Over there. <laughs> um, but, but seems to be fine. Um, the staff... Looks around. Uh, thank you. Who are you? who are you? Just good Samaritans uh, who good, good were Samaritans. We just yeah. some helpful gremlins of chaos. <laughs> the fearful boy seemed to be in a bit of a, a frantic state of mind, and then some strange stuff was going where he was suddenly not there. Nature so we decided to give a hand. Unpredictable at times. Checking in. I mean, we've got some cleaning up to do, plucking around at the, <laughs> the body. Uh, but like, but, we, uh, we tried. Uh, 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 have a seat somewhere clean. Uh, anything you want on the house. I pro uh, yeah, anything you want on the house. Uh, with, with all due respect, uh, where, where is your manager? Oh, um, that actually is me. I'm the manager on duty. Uh, don't I want to do it. don't worry about serving. Just I think if, I think today you might have to close the cafe and just send everybody home. Yeah, I yeah. Um, yeah. And, and points to one of the other staff members. He goes, uh, "Go get the shield sworn." Uh, I think they all need to help a little bit, but. Uh, uh, thank you. Quick thank you so much. Good question. Um, I'm I'm standing over where the fucker was cutting the the hole in the floor. I I tap the floor with my foot. Do you know what's under here and why they would be so interested in getting in it? Uh, I mean, not really. I I think there's some like. It might have maybe one of the mine tunnels is really close to there, although. More likely, probably one of the sewer lines. Just, I would guess a better way out. From what I can tell, they were trying to take her hostage. From what I've heard, they may have been trying to just take her along those so they didn't have to be above ground with a hostage. Plausible. Very plausible. 
Uh, would sorry, I know of any underground uh, dealings, right, that might run along here, being a criminal? Same Make question. History check. <laughs> Make a history check. Both of us. If we're able to confer a little bit, could potentially Elliot or I give advantage for city secrets, like knowing like little things about like how the city connects? He's still over by the body. <laughs> <laughs> I potentially um, give advantage with city secrets of like bouncing ideas back and forth real quick. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> have to yeah. like if call his attention. Okay. All right, I, no, this I was actually I, I just wanted to like. Offer it up in case you wanted to. I was actually going to Sarah, may I also do a history check? Unfortunately, it didn't help. The second yeah. roll was a four, but I have a total of 17 for history. Okay. Anyone Not who wants to roll a history check on this can. Cool. <laughs> Sagan is actually going to go over to Elliot. Okay. I got a 14. Wow, okay. Great, but. I got a 22. Yeah. Oh my god. Fuck yeah. Between the three of us, we could figure this out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, you know that the mine tunnels tend to be on the more upper levels than you would have here. Uh, however, there is still uh, sewer lines that are in this area that they could duck into to get out. Um, most of you guys are criminal enough to know that you're not going to travel with a hostage, especially someone of such renown in really? these really busy streets so there's a good chance that that is in fact what they were trying to do okay which is fair um it may have been why they picked this place to meet in the first place that is true as you guys are chatting um a couple of the staff member one of the staff members goes to sit one of the staff members goes behind the bar and just like starts throwing out glasses and starts pouring it for the other employees. And then they start leaving out enough for you. Another guy comes up, goes into the back and like grabs a bunch of meals that they had like prepped for earlier in the day. <laughs> they just like, they're like, please um, have a seat and with a boost, we'll, we'll bring stuff over for you. Okay, okay. As long as you guys are okay. And like, once, once we're done, we'll put these in the back and y'all can go home. You had a very hard day. <laughs> the bartender is sitting behind there in the cafe uh, and just goes, it's a Tuesday. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a bottle of, of whiskey or its equivalent from behind the bar, mm -hmm. do another cartwheel over the bar, and land on a seat and just um, start sipping straight from the bottle. You're quite agile, aren't you? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> on that, on that note, Sagan is going towards Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> Getting away from that. <laughs> just, to, just to also set the scene, I'm letting you know that the Fairbold kid and the um, Lady Cromwell have been moved into like one of the quieter booths. <laughs> so they cover, cover, <laughs> and he's just like hovering over her like a lost child. <laughs> just more water, man. More water. <laughs> yeah, when yeah. um Sigum approaches Elliot, he's just kind of staring at the slip of paper as if staring at it long enough will change the letters around. <laughs> it's just like I, I know I can understand it if I stare at it long enough. A baby. Uh, nice. he, he he's still going off that leftover adrenaline and he just doesn't oh. want to move. Uh El Elliot uh. looks up. Uh, are you okay? Albert's okay. Uh, are you and you see him just look at the body and kind of stick his tongue out and then turn fully to Sagan. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I, I must say, you cooked him up good. He deserved it. Absolutely. <laughs> Are you sure your kid do needs any medical attention? Let me check my. I think I have cure wounds. I might be wrong. I'm not wrong. Um, I do have cure wounds, and he just kind of like nods, and you see him just kind of like start fidgeting with all the vials <laughs> in his pockets, trying to like make himself a little potion. <laughs> baby uh well um they 
I have prepared meals and drinks for us if you wish to sit down. I like look oh looks back at the body, narrows his eyes, <laughs> nudges it with his foot, and then walks over. <laughs> like he's so mad at him. <laughs> It, 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 it holds up the hand axe. It, it, if you wish, I can just make. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> just. <laughs> and Elliot is the meme of the Please. little girl with a devious smile in front of the burning house. <laughs> yes. yes. Elliot doesn't have a mean bone in his body until you're mean first, and then he's just like, all of my anger is going to you. <laughs> you know, all of this rage I have right here, it's now it's yours. It's now. <laughs> it's your Mary. problem. He's gonna follow Sagan back over. He's specifically not going to take any alcohol, but he will start nibbling at food. Okay. You all have a chance to chat for a little bit as... You're fed and given drinks. Uh, there's plenty of non-alcohol variety because this is in fact a cafe. So it's just like, it has a little mini bar, not much, but it's also like coffees, espressos, yeah. um, lattes, juice, donuts. <laughs> uh, he's he's going to have whatever this world equivalent of like an Irish coffee. <laughs> Fair play. You just pull up with a coffee. Jules just Fair leans it. over without looking and dumps some into the coffee. It's a Chimerat coffee. <laughs> uh, uh, well, Texas, just... no, wouldn't it be a Vigilus coffee? As Vigilus is the closest thing to fucking Ireland, really. That's true. In terms Vigilus of landscape. Coffee, sure. Look, as long as it's not a binding waste coffee, because that still somehow tastes like sand. <laughs> <laughs> right? That grit just never goes away. I can still feel it in my teeth. <laughs> I, I personally am just... Up. Oh, they're both frozen. I think the internet just went... Oh no! Oh fuck! Oh. The beans! Oh, oh no, the layout! It's... Oh, oh no! <laughs> um, what's up for anyone who's watching? She's about to get real weird. Um, um, yeah, it, it, never leave. Oh, oh never wait, go. wait, there we go, there we go. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. we're fine. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Where do we lose you? Um, <clears throat> we were talking about binding waste and coffee having sandy texture, and Jules agreed, and then we lost Yeah, you. and I said, yeah. it, it's been like years, and still somehow I find sand in my shoes. Don't know where the hell it's coming from. I think I'm just like, it's the greeting at this point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still find that shit between my teeth. Uh, <laughs> what were you doing there? <laughs> um, I mean, as always, eating out. Oh my what God. do you do? <laughs> I'll have you know that when you say that, Elliot just <laughs> literally just says the word "where." <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> All over the place. I like to try many different things, all kinds of variety. We'll talk to you when you're older. <laughs> <laughs> He's 25. <laughs> oh, God. Right, and he's 28. He'll tell you when you're older. Uh, oh, God. By the way, that, that <laughs> fool that tried cutting open the, the floor, he had a, had a little bit of a coin on him, and I just slide four coin to everybody. And then um, I, I hold out one coin specifically and hand it to the owl cat. Oh, <laughs> Because 25 divided by 6, 24, you're going to have one left over. Fair enough. Albert gets a little coin for his one. Yes. yes. He gets a shiny sparkly for his nest. Is that it? And then, um, you ever see uh, just, like, when birds try to, like, bring random items? Yeah. Albert's uh -huh. doing that yes. with his... Your, your pet is makes the most funny things I've ever seen. That's absolutely adorable. It does... Very fluffy. <laughs> what what did you say his name was? I'm sorry, I think I missed it earlier. Albert. Adorable. Uh, kind of. Athena is just gonna like lean forward. She's like 
at some point in all the chaos gotten like a little gotten herself just like a little thing of tea and she's like sipping on it and kind of on the opposite side of bar of everybody um like in stools and stuff and just kind of leans forward and she's like so where the hell did you find that thing not to be like rude but i don't know you just don't see a lot of them around here yeah right at elliot <laughs> <laughs> After, as soon as you finish saying that, a sudden bang and a rumble from the ground disturbs your meal. Everyone around takes Tea a goes everywhere. turned pause before your fentairs activate a small red triangle on the bottom of your heads up display. A well known alert system. Engaging with it reveals a message. Explosion detected in Elysia Mind. Investigations will be underway. That's a new one. The one that sounded real close. Yeah. Elliot kind of just looks over the bar where the hole is. Tina, like, kind of glances at it and glances back, like, you don't, yeah, like, you don't think the two were, you know, related at all? There's a well, fine line but where co coincidence becomes a little bit too coincidental. The timing is suspicious, rumbling. that's for sure. Another rumbling can be felt emanating from the ground, although oh, now no. it grows intense. An earthquake violently shakes the surroundings, and the sounds of frames crashing down to the ground and the screamings of civilians quickly overtakes you. The walls crack, and the ground shakes, and suddenly the ceiling above you begins to collapse. Make dexterity saving throws, and tell me your numbers. Can I either take a negative to mine or fail mine in an attempt to save some of the civilians? Especially the kid. Um, or specifically the kid. The kid is on the other side of the room. You'd have to be real fast. I'm fast. You would have to fail. Fast as fuck, boy. I'll fail. I'll say yes, but you have to fail. I'll fail. Um. Sagan, what did you get? Um, I got an 18. But I'm willing to roll a... I have advantage. I'm willing to roll again. Just a straight roll to take disadvantage. Because I also want to get some civilians out. Okay. Roll with disadvantage. Well, um, it's not getting them out. It's getting them under furniture. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm them under the bars. Yep. Um, I just want to get the civilians at least to safety, or at least out. Wh whichever would be the closest thing to do. A slightly the more safe. And yes. I will also point out that most of the staff, because you guys have had a chance to chat for a little bit, most of the staff has left. Um, so it's like two or three more staff members who are around the kid and Lady Cromwell. Yeah. Uh, since they're together, the kid and Lady Cromwell, I'm assuming, you said he doesn't leave the, her side, and I'm willingly failing. Can I protect both of them? Since they are together. Yes. Thank you. Um, but, yeah, um, I'll happily roll. I usually have advantage on dexterity uh, saving throws that I can see because of danger sense. I'm willing to, like, negate that advantage for disadvantage, which makes it a straight roll. All right. Uh, just, I just want to get the staff and civilians to safety. Um. Okay. That actually is not bad. Even then. Um. Saving throw. Dirty twenty. On a flat roll. If you're taking a dis. Okay, cause it, okay. Yeah. I'm sitting there going, it got higher. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, Emerson? Um, I also had 20 total. 20? Okay. Athena? 17. Okay. Axonite? Uh, 15 total. 15? Elliot? Uh, 17, 19 total? 19 total? Mm-hmm. All right. And I will pick up with those numbers next time. Motherfucker. <laughs> you can't so be mad, terrible. Icarus. You've done this shit before. We're gonna be too late? Yeah. Can't we play next weekend? Jeez. <laughs> Literally. I mean, look, I will say if everyone's available, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I don't have anything immediate as far as I'm aware, so I'm okay to do it. It would be up to our right now? leader of tales. I'm sorry, I got distracted because I got a text from Jerome. What are you asking me right now? <laughs> I was saying, next, next weekend? <laughs> next weekend? Is everyone available? Including, including I the think so. <laughs> If you have the spoons for it, obviously. Yeah, if you have the spoons and if you're actually available. If you're not, it's okay, but... Uh, <clears throat> possibly. Possibly. I don't know. We were talking about something that we might be mm-hmm. doing, but I have to double check. Totally fair. Okay, Ducky. Okay. This was fun. This was great. This was so much fun. Oh. Oh. Um, oh, what a hook. On that note... Um, hey, I'm good at those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, on that note, it's nearly 5am for me. Oh, oh hon. <laughs> Yeah, we went all the time. This is a long one. Yeah. Yeah. It I it honestly it's forgivable due to the fact it's the first session. Yeah. Yeah. I had a lot of technical difficulties. True. Yeah. Um but uh first of all, big round of applause for our our very lovely DM. Mm -hmm. And uh big round of applause for uh the players, especially the newbies. Well done, Nate. Well done, Ethan. Like you took oh you took your first God. session yeah. on the stride. Oh yeah. yeah. Well Very done. Good. Very well done. And your first session did you kill somebody? Woo! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the only time we uh, celebrate death. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah. D and D and billionaires. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm eat, sorry. I'm too morbid. Eat the rich or watch, or watch them implode. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the orcas have the right idea. <laughs> exactly. All right. With that, um, thank you guys so much for playing. I hope you had a great time. Thank you for anyone who decided to watch. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're fucked. I hope you're excited for our next session, which apparently might be next week. I got, maybe only maybe i got some conversations to, to do <laughs> uh, and then we will see you shortly mm. yeah have a good time bye bye everybody. bye everybody. bye, bye. 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 Maybe next weekend, possibly. Oh, yeah.
The future is unpredictable at times, but the Open University are the experts in distance learning, allowing you to fit study around your life. What's more, you'll have support from dedicated tutors every step of the way. Now suddenly your possibilities are open. Search the Open University to find out more. Hey, no.